Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Monday? Yeah, Monday what? edition. What's happening? Really weird. This is where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So make sure you have it set to 60 frames a second. And this is a very special bonus edition yeah. of the show. And Erlen's here on a Monday. It's crazy. But we had so many games this year because we added the 5200 and 8-bit and 7800 games into the mix of the Atari Homebrew Awards, which is coming up so close. It's like six, yeah, five when, days away. When did the voting finally come through? I, I, I think oh, I saw it, on like Facebook it was fairly... Yeah, it was a couple days delayed because we had some technical issues. Get it going because the forum was upgraded. So the old plug-in voting didn't work. So we had to get a new plug-in for it. And that's what the yeah. delay was. So it was a couple days late. So we pushed the end forward the the cutoff forward and the cutoff was the 25th which um was two days ago but we've ex we extended it so everybody could get their votes in and it cuts off tomorrow at noon pacific time so make sure after this episode you know you'll be able to see a bunch more games and people have been following along and that's what this these these yeah. shows are good for it's good for me too because i haven't played any of these 8-bit games yet and now i'll be able to vote in that category too Wow, and and it'll, and it's really good uh, run through of these games that people may not have played, or maybe they want to play afterwards. Yeah, man, you can just scrub through on YouTube <laughs> and just kind of like look visually on the thumbnail yeah. to see what is what. Yeah, and you know, plug in the the emulators, and we give a download pack for all the games that are nominated or all the ones that we can. It's like um, an it, Oscar screeners right there. It, it is, uh, except you get to have the screeners. It's yeah. usually the Oscar. The people that are in the uh, academy, yeah. like they're part of it. It's an insular group, but this is a public vote where like you any get to vote. Weird group. They love their little insular, <laughs> yeah, which <laughs> exclusive does exclusive stuff. Yeah, which can lead to issues where it's like, oh, we vote for the ones that we like, and that's based on our tastes it's... and and new types of films that yeah. that get made are like, well, oh, that's new and different. It's like so. we'll vote for the ones that you send to us <laughs> in screeners and DVDs. Yeah, yeah. ROM pack download that Arena Foot arranged. Thank oh, you very Arena, much, man. Arena Thank Foot. Thank you. That's awesome. It's a huge part of getting the twenty six hundred um, stuff together. Um, it takes a village to get it, all this stuff. together, It does. Man. This is a big, uh, big community that everybody puts in, and we we're part of this community that you know helps out, makes it what what it is. And so today we're going to be going through we the Atari eight bit. 5200 and the 7800 category we finished off the 2600 games in the last three oh, episodes because there was a lot of them a lot of categories um so we'll be playing through uh 10 8-bit games and three 7800 games well only one of them really because i don't have the cartridges for the other one so we'll be looking at the videos of two and actually playing one on an actual atari 7800 hey. oh is... i've never played one of those before yeah. it's gonna be cool it's called the pro system <laughs> it's only for pros man we're going pro today <laughs> yeah so um first 5200 and 7800 homebrews ever on the show well, we're not. Uh, we did play an eight-bit game on my Atari XEGS once, so not technically. Hey, Jared. But definitely the first seventy-eight hundred game we've ever played on the show. Um, hey, welcome, Jared. So welcome, yeah, welcome everybody to the show, um, and thank you to all the Twitch subscribers whose names are Cafe Man Two D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Coconut Eighty One, Gretem's Ground Trooper. I is supposed to Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Sir Cat Legs, Spartan 581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, Tietfos, and Zach <laughs> Golero. And you can see all the names down the side beside Erlen on the screen. And it's almost off the screen. So when we return, I have to find something. Yeah, the overlay other. business, like, right. <laughs> it's getting out of control. You know? It's getting way out of control. You can see the 7800 in the uh, in the picture down there with uh, baby Pac-Man put in there. Yep. There you go. Oh, there you go. So oh, I could have come at it from a better angle. Oh, but and you thank guys you. Get the, hey, Repentless. Repentless VG for subscribing. D-Train's here. And he's on a seven-month streak. 
and he's Ooh. been subscribed for seven months. Thank you very much. And thank you to all the people who are joining us live in Twitch and of course afterwards on YouTube. But the people live on Twitch are Arena Foot, Dan AVC, the D Train, Ground Trooper, Jared Gray West, Pac Man Plus Atari Age, who is the developer of Baby Pac Man. Oh, man. So we've got a great uh, developer in the house. Thank you Pac very much. Cafe Man 2D, who is a Twitch subscriber. Uh, then, Thrust is here. Thomas the Yentz. Zero page homebrew asshole, you know, who's always <laughs> writing things at the beginning of the show and stays silent the whole time. <laughs> yeah. We need and, more engagement from that guy. And Arena Foot has told me how to pronounce his name. Oh. Uh, his real name. And let's see if I can remember what it is. So it is, his first name's easy. It's Brian. Brian. And his last name is Mothern. 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 Wow, and that's think, cool. Did I get it right? Tell me. Tell me if I got it right. There we go. And Mardi Gras. And Arimafo says, happy Mardi Gras. What is Mardi Gras? Less than a month away. How, would you say ha happy New Year on like December 1st? <laughs> yeah, it would be great. It seems like it's a long time away to say happy... Like, is it a month long yeah, celebration? Man, I, I say happy birthday to people every day. Cause that's it's, right. Because <laughs> it's, it's someday it'll sometime. be their birthday. Oh, you, that's cool. Mardi Gras, is, that's a pagan thing, isn't it? Am I wrong? Is January 6th till Fat Tuesday. It's a month long thing. Wow, they like to party. They like to party. Jeez. So let's um Ah German Carnival. The horror. <laughs> Unless you drink. Uh let's get into the games. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's jump it's in. It's all about uh playing the games here. So um we're going Oh, stay oh, here, Tar. It's like, all good. It's he's all like good. Predator? Uh -huh. No, just takes his hand. It's okay. So we're gonna do him in alphabetical order for the Atari 8 bit 5200, and he is done. He's out of here by Atari. Yeah, man, he's like, there's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go address that. So the emulator that we'll be using is Altira, and I found it pretty good. It works really, really, really well. And um, so uh, big apologies to everybody who uses this emulator or who knows anything about 8-bit games because we're going to muddle our way through this. Yeah, oh dear. Because it's the first time I've ever used this emulator. I mean, I've been playing around with it, but it's the first time. Um and really the first time playing these games and so it'll be a bit of a we'll have to work it'll our way it'll be a through. process man. it'll be a process yeah <laughs> so bear with us as we go through them but uh i think i've got the hang of it so the first game we're going to be playing is called adventure ponies oh man <laughs> by i got so many expectations <laughs> by daniel gibstoff blevins and christoff kaz Ziembik. It's going to be a mouthful of Z's, my, Z's today. So there's a lot of European uh, developers in the 8-bit scene. So there's lots of, lots of Z's. I wonder why that is. That's very cool. Lots of Z's and Y's and K's going on. <clears throat> so, oh, D-Train already ate a whole cake, man. He ate a whole cake? I think they're small cakes. Oh. Oh, Polish oh, scene is strong too. There we go. Okay. Okay, so it should be mapped. There you go. Okay. So move, jump, shoot lasers, teleport. Okay. So select <laughs> select your pony. Right now you're on Twilight Sparkle. Oh, it's unlocked. Oh. So I have locked ponies. I have uh, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Applejack Rarity. Fuck man, I want to get Pinkie, Pinkie, Pinkie Pie. Pie. We gotta work. You gotta for unlock it. that. We gotta work for it. Okay. Yeah. Whew, cool. Twilight Sparkle. So I can shoot lasers if I go down. down. Jump is up. up. Teleport is just button. button. Okay, let's. I'm just going to turn down the volume just a bit on the... Okay. And it this emulator pauses when uh, apparently it goes out of full screen, too. Oh. Whoa. What an interesting... Well, it's still a little, a little loud. One more. One second more. Okay, I'm thinking that I'll... There you go. Cool. I'm thinking I'll just jump. Polish scene is strong there. Oh, oh, shit. That is not background. That's a... Pile of death salt. 
Oh, shit. Death salt. Uh, oh, keep, stop running into the death salt. Gotta be careful. Now, I did play this a little bit. That uh, thing over there is a teleporter. Oh, uh, which thing? This right thing there? there? Yeah. Whoa, okay, shit. That's what we're gonna do now. <laughs> death salt. I'm jumping <laughs> over the death salt. There you go. And now on some clouds, you can land on them. The thick clouds. Okay. There we go. And that thing takes you to the end of the level, so maybe not get that yet. Get the apple first. Aw, oh, man. I gotta, I gotta go back. No, oh, you can jump on the uh, cloud and get back up there. Oh, can I? Is it yeah. cloud? Yeah. No, oh, no. Not big enough of a jump. Dan ABC says cute game. Yeah. Cute is the word. There you go. Level two. Yay! Okay. Oh, man, it just got dark. Yeah, it's a boss fight, so don't run into it. Whoa! Him. Don't Holy get shot. Shit. Holy shit. Oh, you've got half a heart left, wow. and you're dead. What okay. are you? So uh, what are you? So he's got three hearts. So stay far away from him and jump over his bullets. Oh, oh they're really fast bullets. He's got one heart left. Just get him. Turn around and get him. Oh. Yeah. The problem with this thing is like it's almost easier just to just to like go ham and just shoot him. You know. Oh yeah, the oh. salt. <laughs> Damn. Okay. What is the cutest Atari game? One of the Smurf games? Yeah. Like 2600, you mean? Um, Smurf's pretty cute. I know there's a strawberry shortcake dress-up game. Or is that only for the Coleco? I think that might be only for the Coleco. What other cutesy kind of games are there for the 2600? So what happens if I get that thing? Is that the end? I think that's a bonus, like a, a one-up, which you need. Yeah. Just don't land on the salt. Oh, he didn't jump high enough. You have to hold hold the jump down ah, I when see. you jump. And then make sure you don't... There you go. Navigate to the salt. Nice. Okay, I'm going to actually... One thing I'll definitely give this game is that its controls are fairly fairly nice. Yeah. I was, I was surprised. I wasn't expecting the controls to be as nice as they are. Oh, Strawberry Shortcakes for the Atari 2600 as well. Okay, well that one's a pretty cutesy game. Oh, got some more... Uh, yeah. Gonna go for it. I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I gotta. S okay, just stay away from him and shoot him. This guy doesn't shoot. I did play this game a little bit because it was kind of cute. So what do you do? You just just and spam then, it and then hope that. Yeah, he don't don't get near him. Okay. What, what, but run what? past him. Run past him. Run past him. Get far far away okay. and shoot him from afar. He only has melee. But man, he just pursues you relentlessly. But shoot him. He'll stop. There you go. Now back away. And then shoot again. Tactics. Back away. Yeah. Oh. oh man. Okay. No, wrong way. <laughs> get away! Get away! Get away! Oh, you're running into a hill there. Still got to get him a couple more times. Oh, you're way too close. Ah, yeah. oh, dead ponies. Damn it. How man. could you kill the pony? That's okay. Oh man, this cutesy style is a lot. Oh, one more. Run away! Run away! You're too close. How do I run past him? Just like that, I guess. Yep. One more hit. Okay. Get on him. One more hit. Oh, two more hits, I guess. Let's run away. Man, this is like giant cauliflower. It's <laughs> fucking me up, man. Okay. I know nothing about um, My Little Pony lore. Nah, me neither, man. So that might be an actual enemy in the, in the cartoon. Or in the universe, in the pony universe. One I'm, up. I'm not a brony. No, I'm not oh. either. I don't even. I think. I think it scares me too. You know, like with with that. Sometimes you're like so scared of something, you just don't want to like engage in it because you're like, what don't if I become a brony? Like, I what don't if even, I really like it? Yeah, that's the, that's the real fear. The fear isn't that like there's anything wrong because there's nothing wrong with you know no. whatever you want to do. Loving a you... subculture, loving a thing. Yeah, I mean they really love it. I'm just like I don't want to, but I don't, I'm like I don't want. Get that far into it. Yeah, I got, I got enough weird stuff that I'm into, you know? We don't need to add another one. <laughs> yeah, got uh, enough weirdness. Yeah. You're doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, the, I gotta hand it to the game for the controls. I mean, this would be maddening if the jumping and stuff was... I would have made... I don't know what I would have made. Okay. I, I would have made the... Historically, I'm not so good at this. <laughs> No. part of it. Oh, that's Whoa. a really good drawing. That was nice. Wow, what the hell do you do with this guy? He just runs at you. Whoa, how do you, how do you even get him? Uh, oh, so there! When he's turned around. Oh. Get him from behind. Because okay. he just kind of sits there. Damn. Afterwards. 
Jump over him. You have to jump over him there. He's coming at you. Yep, you have to get him from behind. Jump over him when he attacks you. Jump! And, and you have to shoot him from behind. Ah, uh, it's hard. I guess I gotta get the upper Get the higher ground, ground Anakin. Fuck, man, that's the stupidest <laughs> thing. <laughs> yes, it is. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. Oh, oh harsh, harsh okay. end. Fun game. Do you that's want? Do you want to give a go, no, or should no, we? Pop we gotta, we gotta power cool. through. We got a lot to get through. So we're gonna go to Burks Four. Burks Four. Um, I know very little about all these games, so we're just... Written by John Williams. Oh, not THE John Williams. Well, wow, he's got some side projects going on. So, Burks 4. Let's get this full screen. Hold on, this music is famous. Very traditional. Yeah, this is classical. What is this song? Does anyone know it? I've heard this a million times. I don't recognize Obviously classical. Sounds like it. Maybe it's Polish. Yeah, this is very <laughs> famous. Um, I, I'd love to know what it so, is. Burke's Four by John Williams. That is the sole person described. Maybe more people worked on it. Uh, Dance Macabre. Don't Don, Dance Macabre. Dance Macabre. Yeah, I'm just. I don't. I know yeah. this has been in so many things. John, not John. <laughs> it's true. Okay. <laughs> but he, yeah, because it's... Sounds so similar. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the John problem, yep. you know? Um, so we got a password. We haven't played this before, so we don't have a password. And uh, so start is play world one, select instructions. Oh, maybe we better read instructions. Of course, I don't know what select is. Let me try the keyboard. Oh, that moved it. Anybody know what select is on this... Uh, oh, no. Oops. Because this is a computer system, you can use, like, keyboard and everything. And, of course, option is, like, on the Atari keyboard. Yeah. Not on the... Let's try space. No, space is space. And I can't do anything from my end. Up, down, left, right. Oh, that goes through here. Uh, try F1 or 2. Okay. Oop. Oh, that started it. Let's, um, I should just run into people, and then I can try, because F2 started it, I bet F3's options. Okay, so just, I gotta... Just die, just run into any of these bad balls coming at you or whatever. Me and the gingerbread man. Oh, tragedy has befallen our village. <laughs> That's right, game over. Start over? Oh my god, what the hell happened? Okay, oh! Oh, there we go. Back and in. F3, F4, F5. Oh! That did something. F5 reloaded. So let's try F3 for the instructions now. Oh! This might have worked. Okay, roam the labyrinth collecting keys to gain access to the crystal chamber. Okay. When you find the crystal, you'll be awarded the password for the next world. Well, we won't need passwords. We're only playing this shortly. Beware the Burks who wander around aimlessly around the rooms in the labyrinth. Drones home in on your position and can be only stunned for a short time. Difficulty increases for each new world. Press the space bar to pause the game. M uh, while paused for the location map. Oh. And X while paused to exit the game. Okay, so let's get it going. I'm, I'm, I'm ready, John. It does look like Robotron. It really reminds me of Robotron. Like okay, with so the, um, I'm shoot just those I'm, dudes, get the key. I think you have to shoot your way in. I played this very briefly. Okay, so the, shoot, start. I'm oh, uh, hit the right button. Try other buttons. Because I shot at some point, but it's weird the shooting. Maybe I need to hold it down. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hold down. Shoot those gingerbread men. There you go. Now get the key and boot your way out of there if you can. Oh. And that's that was just stunning him temporarily. Careful, they move in yeah, chunks. I'm fucked. No, I'm not. Shoot your way out. There's always a way, John. <laughs> John, you haven't defeated me yet with your Burks Four. There's always a way. Okay, okay, gingerbread man. The coast you think is you're clear. You're so fucking tough. Okay. There you go. Another key. 
this might be a mistake. Uh, but protecting yourself, but going it feel, into that. It feels like a smart move. There you go. The tactics. So it's only up and up and right. There's I no love... diagonals. Oh, there's diagonals. Okay, we're good. Okay. Great music. Great, great looking uh, characters on the screen. I love this like barrage, and it's kind of neat. You have to stop. Yeah. So there's tactics. It's like, well, if you want to shoot, you gotta you gotta stop and and expose yourself a little bit. Oh shit! I kind of. Oh, it resets it. Ah, uh, so you don't want to leave the room. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. I, it didn't, cause see, it doesn't reset the things I've killed. So see. Oh yeah. It brought back more gingerbread man. No, but it, but it didn't stop the um. Uh, you see like oh, the keys. Oh, the path. Yeah. And so. that's the actually more important, cause if you see like. I gotta just like. Start shooting your way in. These balls are relentless. Okay, I'm going back. There you go. Now you got a clear path. Balls are slow. They're, balls are like zombies. They're slow, but they don't give up. They just yeah, they just keep just going. They're just relentless, man. Oh god. Okay. Well, all the balls are clustered. That's kind of good. No, just run. They they just get in there. Actually, that gingerbread. Actually, the gingerbread men are pretty dumb. They're not really going yeah, for you. Yeah, there's not much to worry about with those it's guys. The Although the problem is now is that like I feel like I've gone through so many like things that I'm like, where have I mapped? Where have I not? Like well, I don't let's, even. Let's check out the M. Oh. So you're in the D2. Oh, so there's still a lot of keys to get. So I gotta go. I'll go left. I guess the flashing uh, dots are the keys. That's so. actually really That's nice. That's really helpful. Okay, I know what pathway we'll go now. Gingerbread men are pretty cute. Yeah, <laughs> they are really good. Okay, so I feel like that's fucked. <laughs> gonna go a different <laughs> that way. That area's. Yeah, those balls are not. Actually, you can go back in. Maybe it'll reset. Yeah, there you go. You can maybe get around there if you shoot through fast. But I don't think I can, because by the time. I mean, I can just reset it oh, again. You're good. Go for it. There you go. And those balls are going up there, too. Yeah, that kind of could have been trouble. Here. Oh god, get out of there or get around there. <laughs> ah. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. There you go. This one's gonna be tough. Well, no, because they'll be up worried. at the top. If you go up, the balls will go up. And they won't start getting in and around. Don't clear path yet. Oh my god. So come in. <laughs> well, I figured that go. I would draw them up and then I could kind of tuck underneath, yeah. you know? There you go. Okay, I think I gotta go up and then. Yep, there's one. Whoa. Shit. The danger of going into a room over and over again is those balls could be right beside you. Oh, shit. Oh. I didn't. Uh, it's just a bad move. On. That was your first death, though. That's pretty good. That's crazy. I'm going in. I'm going in. Yeah. And then you can shoot your way out down. Yeah. Do you want the map again? Um, I think I remember... At least, I think I want the map once I get past this level here. And Ricardo Pim says, hey guys, I'm at work, but I'm going to enjoy the show a little. Yes, Whoa, you want to hit me up show. with that map? Sure. Okay, so my thought, okay, so I'll just Top go actually, right. I think I might go left and then oh, right does it, and then does up. It wrap? I don't think it wraps around. There's a solid wall all the way no, down No, but I mean, left. I'll go right, I mean. Oh, okay. I think I might go right instead, because yeah. it's pretty intense. Right, and then right, or right, and then up and right. up. Will these get a, f a physical release? Um, I was reading a little bit about the Atari 8-bit scene, and it's very, very rare that they are issued. Actually, it's not rare that they're issued, but they're almost always given away for free. Like, you can download the full games of Atari 8-bit games. Holy shit. Some of them are released, um, but how they're released, like, they would have to be on disc? 
Um, I think so. Oh, man. I'm not intense. qualified to answer that question. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, I know some of them are released on disc. Um, I don't know if they were ever released on cartridge too much, because disc would be a lot cheaper. Okay. And they accept disc, so why wouldn't you put it on a disc? Yeah, dangerous. You gonna draw him out? Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be patient. It's not coming up. You might have okay, a bit more away. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead them down. Stun the first one as he gets a little closer. And jump in. Pretty slow. Yeah. Oh no. Or go around the bottom. Step to. There you go, yeah. Tactics! Nice pastel colors. Yeah, the little walls you have to shoot away are really nice looking. Really nice, of, really nice design. Okay, can you map me up real quick? I just want to make sure that, like, I'm in the right. So, go right or down. Down or right. Okay, so down and then kind of to the left. I gotta clear out that kind of middle one soon. Yeah, the whole right-hand side. Whew, okay. We got this. <laughs> Oh, I gotta, I gotta approach. I gotta do that. So I gotta go around. I'll figure it out. Oh, I see. Yeah, the map does show that information too. I cleared up this area. Yeah, I'm gonna. I you got, gonna go up and around. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do it at some point. So now's the time. Ah, oh, this is getting rough though. <laughs> just, it is. Just reset this fucker. Ah, I thought I hit him. Ah, there you go. Yeah, that's after you. Oh, you have to go in. I just need to ignore them. Yeah, who cares? I mean, you get points, but... <laughs> it's more about levels, really, because this is like a, a level-type game, it seems. Oh shit, it's right. just my controller, man. Yeah. Ah, oh, gingerbread. We're gonna have to stop after this key. Cool, because yeah, there's, this only, is fun. there's only so many. <laughs> Look at respawn out of the area. Oh, that's good. No ball in this area, that made it easy. Okay. Yay, okay, that was a good game, man. I got yeah. kind of lost in it. Yeah, that's, that's Got a lost lot of fun. in that shit for a while. That's good stuff. So. Let's go on to the next one, which is Castle Defender. Ooh. By a whole bunch of people. Um, Holy shit, look at this title screen. Yeah, that's some nice colors. That's badass. And it's a little flashing, too. I love that the magenta and the red and the green and the blue and... Yeah, a good mix of colors. I don't know if that's an error or. I feel like on the edge of what's supposed to happen, but yeah, we'll I don't we'll think be that. okay. Uh, this is by Martin Matosimi Simek, Peter, Piotr. It's probably Peter. Oh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we could uh, call him Peter, but Peter Piesu Redeki. You never know. Michael String Redeki, an original game by Chris Bradburn. So this is a port. Chris. Um, so let's uh, press a button and see how this uh, all works. Oh, we've got a... Yep. Castle Defender Should 2019. Should we see instructions first? Maybe? Yeah, we'll yeah. quickly take a look. At it. Oh, God. Here the whole ones are coming wave after wave of goblins, skeletons, zombies, snakes, wizards, and all manner of creatures from the nether dimensions are attacking our castle. It's up to you to save us from the onslaught using our defense towers. Uh, defense. Is it a tower defense game? I'm pretty sure that's Maybe. what it is. Enemies will emerge from the portal and move along, along the path, path to yep. our castle. Tower defense. Okay. Place different tower types that automatically attack anything that gets within your range. Joystick. Move the cursor. Fire to build and upgrade uh, options. Number. Number keys. Build a tower of that type in a vacant space. So I'm uh -oh. going to have to help you out okay, here. Okay, cool. Upgrade. You to upgrade. Okay, so one, two, three. Yeah. I think we're good. We know tower defense. Yeah. Oh no! Get me out of this! No. You gotta. Is that a. It's, it's, one, two, three. Uh. F2. F3. Get F1. Me. Whoa! Okay. okay. I'll just fast forward. Guess you have to I'm sit gonna... through the instructions. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, totally tower defense. I didn't actually play this game. Okay, so those are the spots you can place your towers, the round things. Uh, so I pick one, two, three. Let's do one. Okay. Let's do pick it. it again. One. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay, wow. You have to manually do it? No. I gotta pick. Oh, no, no. Okay, pick another one. One, two, three. Yeah, just maybe two. Oh, we don't have enough. Do another one. Uh-oh, we're fucked. No, don't have enough money. Only have enough money for one. Oh, it's getting them. It's getting them. I think we're safe. Okay. The first one's taking them down a bit. The okay. second one's finishing them Let's off. See if you can do it again. I don't know oh. if you can. No, not enough. How much do we... I think we only earn at the end. Okay. okay. So, how much gold do we have? 68? Yeah. 85? Press the button and see how much we need. 140. Okay. How much do we have? 102 now. We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost there. Oh, oh, I got it. 139, because we really kind of need another one. Okay, press it. There we go. And this is the now. next. This is the next one that we want. Yeah. Maybe we'll wait for a level two. Press the button. See how much level two is. 200. Yeah, we should wait. We for could 200. wait for 200. We'll see what's up. And then upgrading. Thomas says he's a big fan of tower defense games. Lightning is the distance. Is this? Okay, so where's our points at? I'm just trying to... It says S. I'm not sure what S means. I guess that's total points. Yeah, so where's our resources? It's... 196 is our gold on the left. Oh, so okay. now we can build one. Oh, built. Good. Okay, so that's a that's a good one to do a powerful one, I think. Yeah. Um... So now, how much for a big, big one? Maybe we'll put it... Yeah, well, that's... The... It's good on the corners because you get a full yeah, press the... button. So big one is three, uh -oh. 370. Oh god, they're getting in. Let's mm. build a small one. Mm. Somewhere. There. Okay. Oh. We don't have enough? Almost. Keep pressing again. Mm. Needs to get one more. Damn it! Mm. Let a lot in. Mm. Did we make it though? I guess we technically did. We did. I guess we didn't let enough through. Okay. Uh, do we build a small one now? At the top, maybe? Can we upgrade this one? Yeah, we can. You want me to? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, no, we can. We need 230. We're almost there. We can wait. Oh, no, you can do a low upgrade? Oh, we're probably dead, though. We should do another one. We shouldn't upgrade anything. I should just put another one. On. I don't know how to go back, though. Okay. Yeah. I guess Quick, we... pick one. Ah... Uh... Anyone? I'm trying to go to that one, but I can't seem to get it. Whatever. Oh, no. Because I didn't want that one. I wanted <laughs> oh, the other no. one. But I can't seem to get... Okay, now I got there. <laughs> oh, okay, no. yeah, we're dead. We'll try this again. Yeah. We'll be more strategic. Actually, the, mm. along the bottom is pretty good placement. Bottom's not... gets the corners. If you can get them from two sides... Bottom's not terrible. I might, re I might honestly recommend we build only in the middle to start because you get them on both sides. Right. Which I think is a much Defeat. smarter yeah, approach. Got... Yeah. Great sound. Nice graphics. Oh, pretty nice looking. Okay. Okay. And... No! Let's restart that. Uh, F5, I think. It says it's ready, though. For what? Lord only knows. Yeah, man, and Kobe Bryant died. Yep, he did. And I have... I don't, I don't follow basketball, so... Yeah. Well, it's just sad, because he died oh, yeah. in, like, a helicopter crash, man. Yeah, I was reading about that. Um, in terms of how dangerous private... Um, flight is in terms of like private jets and private uh, helicopters 272 times more dangerous than a normal airplane that you and I fly in it makes sense man and helicopters are scary oh my god yeah they, they can't glide down they yeah. they go out you just fall to the ground there's no gliding there's no yeah wings. and you think like if a bird hits like a plane that's terrible but if a it's if, recoverable if a, if a big somewhere. bird smashes into a helicopter blade and you know it's all of a sudden it's a piece of metal just that falling, falls to the man. ground yeah because it's like there's some physics that keep things yeah <laughs> so yeah it's super scary okay start building there yeah Okay. 
Oh, okay. Press button to get out of that. Looks and like it wants us to upgrade oh, there. Up. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll Don't see. have enough. Because I'm, I'm just going to watch it now because I think that this is a good tactic because it hits it there and then... And, and it can and get then, it on the other side. Yeah. And then if we have another one here, I think that'll be the most optimum. Yeah. Wow. Just barely getting it. Oh, we need a lot of gold. <laughs> but it made it last time. We were able to build the third one without letting anyone in. And I think they know that. that yeah. That's how it was balanced. It was like, you have just enough to shoot these guys. So where is the gold? I still can't see it. Okay, it's on that It's side. vertical. It's G000085. I don't think we'll ever get into the uh, six digits of gold. Though. No, I don't think so either. So what do we need? 100? 200? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100. So let's do it. Or not. 140. 100. Oh, it's getting in. That didn't happen last time. Mm. Okay, do it. There we go. Oh, so what's interesting is there does seem to be some issues with um, having him on the corners because they can only attack. You see, like, so sometimes they're distracted by other ones. Oh. So we do need, we do need, like, one around here. Pretty. So they should be spread out. Yeah. More than in a row. But I don't know. I mean, yeah, we were doing better last time. <laughs> we were. Okay, we can build another one somewhere. Oh, we should do it here to finish these guys off. Yeah. At least we'll make it to the second round. Yeah, I think we'll... And then do we have health? Probably what? Um, S is total score. Five, three, one, zero. I don't know what that plus is. Shield. So if we were so to we have do... enough. Let's... And there's a four there. I know one of these would be how many left we have to not let in. Oh, that's it. Three, two, one, and we're done. Yeah, wow. We or is that how many left in the round? Oh, that's in how many in the wave. So we have 45 in this wave, too. <clears throat> that's plus 38. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking like... Oh, that's how... Along the bottom is how tough they are. So these are... Oh, wait, is it 100? Third level people, one? second level people. Uh, 140 if we need. We don't have enough yet. I'm getting Almost. Close. And go. I mean, we all have the lowest level, <laughs> so it's not the greatest, but it is. But there also does There's a lot of them. And see, I want that one. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to get to that one. Uh, there we go. That one? Okay. <clears throat> 140 is what we need. We're almost there. Yeah. Okay. It. Might be okay for this round. 31 left to go. We'll see. Um, so I think I'd like to do big ones now. Okay. If we're allowed to. <clears throat> yeah. Got lots of spaces left. I think. I played a lot of tower defense games when they were first big on mobile devices. They're pretty fun. Like, it's it's resource management. Yeah, basically, and it's just figuring it out, like, what makes the most... Oh, boy. Oh, no, still doing okay. Okay, we can build a bigger one. Do it. Or no, 200. Almost. Oh, I might do it oh, here just, instead. Almost. Okay. Do it. There we go. Yeah, because we need some, some along the end right now. Because they're getting through. Oh, one got through. I don't see where it shows how many that we are not allowed to put in. Because there's like a, that plus thing, but it always changes. Dope. Come on. I think we're good. I think we'll make it though. Dope. Okay. Oh, defeat. Weird. That means we died? It must be that plus thing. Yeah, we died. Oh, man. Okay. Fuck, I want to do another one, but I don't think we, <laughs> we can. Don't have time. Oh, yeah. I love tower defense. It's so much fun. So that was, that was I feel good. like with another round we could have gotten farther. That's the thing about tower defense, man. Is that you just have to you do them so many times because you're like, I got a technique. Yeah, you get better and better, and we did. We did get better that time. Yeah, and, and I, I think we could do. Well, even I tried the, the technique one. of doing the middle one, but it didn't really. Yeah, that's what I thought the plus thing was because it was up and down, and it was the health of the enemy it was currently shooting. Ah. But that's almost useless when there's ten enemies on the screen. Yeah, you're so like, who is going, it? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Which one is that? Uh, the next one's called Gravity Worms. 
by Christoph. Uh, this one I had trouble with playing. It was like I didn't know how to get to the second part. I knew how to get the first Should level. Just hit fire and find out. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's a. So these are the planets you can select. I couldn't select anything but the first one, which makes sense. You have to start on the first one. I can go between these two. Yeah, but you can't select the second one. Okay. Everything's blue, but you're that worm. And you can only move in like a direction of the head is facing. Like you can turn or move. Um, and your goal, as far as I can tell, is not to fall off there. Oh, okay. Um, is to get that flashing thing. And you can... Whoa. It's replaying until you take control. So I can get that flashing thing. So that's thing. like a bucket that you can move along or a little platform that you can push with your with your little snaky nose. I missed the title of this one. This is called Gravity Worms. So you have to move it one more over. Okay, buddy. You got this. There you go. And he can put his little tail up Whoa, on there. Whoa, okay. So now this one... I know that eating that thing gives you one extra length, right? Now beyond that, you obviously need to get that other pair. And you can't move that piece. And I found that those spiky things Kill you. are deadly. You, okay. can, you touch them once and you're done. You can't quite reach the pair. I don't, And you can't go on diagonals. So I was just like missing something. It's like, can you go through the wall somehow? Like to the left? Um, let me see if I can read some instructions. Okay, gravity worm. One. I'm stuck in this screen. Oh, you're stuck in the screen too. Yeah, I just I have no idea. Like I'm missing... Like can you move those spikes a bit over somehow? You can use the apple to step on. Oh, so but you I messed ate up it? right away. But you ate it. So die... Use the apple to step on. That puts you to sleep for some reason. I don't know what Whoa, that does. Whoa, my gravity worm. So die, and then use the apple to step on. Don't eat it. That's smart. Okay. And then get the pear, and then get the apple. Oh, but you made it over. Should I just keep going? I don't know. Well, you can always die if it's a mistake. So you can keep going. And see what that egg thing does. Thank you for the hints. Oh, th oh, it's an extra thing. So now you probably go back over again and get the apple. Oh, don't step on spikes. Okay, go over, up. Oh. 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 No. Oh, you do die. Okay, so you want to get the, ap the pear, then the apple, then... What you think? And the egg? I'm doing it. Yeah, because we did the egg last time. It didn't work, so... Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you can get the... Yeah, I... Okay, gravity worm. <laughs> <laughs> there! Okay, now it turns into your goal. Now, as long as you don't touch that spike, you're going to be good. Ah, cool. And up, and up, and up. I think you're good still. There. Nice. Puzzle. Gravity worm. <laughs> Puzzle okay, for the win. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, so we got one apple. Should I? And as soon as you get the apple, it'll... Oh. Oh. You got your head stuck. In there. I can sleep, though. Damn, okay, you can't do that. Huh. Maybe I can reset this. Oh, God. No. no. Gravity worm. <laughs> That was not. That was a full reset. Oh no! Oh no! no. Well, what do we you... can do this really quick. We know it's the pear, then the apple, then the egg. Nice and quick. Yeah. Gravity worm. Cool. <laughs> okay, don't put your head in there. <laughs> so that's like a stepping stone. Can you get that apple? Yeah. There you go. Okay. So you're good. Oh no. And now I'm stuck. Oh. oh. I think I know what we have to do. 
Wow, Gravity Worm. How do you do a reset? It's without... a cool game though, man. I'm into this. Yeah, I, I like these type of games where it's like, it's not too tough a puzzle. You can kind of get, I mean, it's going to get tough, but as you get, you work your way up there. I need a kill button on the keyboard. I know. Let's see if I can find the instructions quickly. Of what the button is to kind of just kill yourself, right? Yeah, because... Gravity... Worm... Instructions... Gravity... Yeah, so... How can you get up there without... Le there. I go up... You can't go back down. And if you go up one more. Now I'm trapped. Again, gravity worm. <laughs> he just goes to sleep now. Okay, well, how do we kill? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, button doesn't do anything. Just no, puts you just... to sleep. <laughs> but if gravity worm sleeps, it's twitch dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> A sleeping gravity worm is what you all came here for. That's right. Let me just try some <laughs> buttons on the keyboard. Oh, man. Without the function buttons. Man, I, those are like extreme kill buttons. I think the thing, too, that's so sad about like someone like a really amazing athlete passing away is that we really have this feeling that if you do things right, like you, you eat well and you're well exercised and all this stuff, yeah. there's that belief that, oh, I'm going to live a long life. And it's just that, that like horrific reminder that, no, like random stuff happens like it that's does. just how life is that it doesn't matter like that you know there's people who smoked a pack a day and are 800 pounds it <laughs> might live longer than kobe bryant like how's that possible but that's yeah. just the way the world is you know how how risk averse are you like in terms of like oh i'll fly in a helicopter i'll go bungee jumping i'll um go on a bike and throw myself down I'm a mountain or... fairly um i'm fairly risk aware with like catastrophic things yeah. but i don't mind like getting in pain and stuff like like if someone was like you want to like um reach your hand into a fire to pull out something like i would do hey, it unreal headshot um but like for things like right. would you want to bungee jump would you want to skydive actually probably no no okay um, yeah me too i'm like totally risk averse and um i wouldn't like 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 i wouldn't mind going like rock climbing and bouldering and stuff like that but i wouldn't climb up a mountain probably i'd go to like a climbing gym and like you know what i mean like i'm uh, I, option is restart the level oh good but i don't know what the option key is okay now i can look it up yeah let's find out at least i know key. that option yeah it's weird like i'll i'll there's it's weird what i'm what i'm down for and what i'm not i think i'm also good though at assessing what is a real risk and what is like not really a risk because mm. um, there's a lot of things I think people are afraid of that they shouldn't be afraid of. It's more neurotic. And then there's a lot of things that people think are totally fine that you're like, well, you probably need to... Like, uh, for me, fucking with electricity, I don't like messing with electricity. Like, if there's outlets or things. I've just been yeah. electrocuted too many times. And I don't like that at all. I'm really not a big fan at all of being electrocuted. It's, that's, and but, but the reality is, is I've been electrocuted so much that I can, like... I know what it, what it is if it's, like... If it's a bad one. Yeah. Yeah, you got struck by lightning. We yeah. told that story on the show. Yeah, we did. A years so, ago. like. Uh, we had a land party at school today. Oh, wow. Cool school. <laughs> is it, so, I have to do something with this block, I think. Yeah. This is the only way. Um, so, what's weird, though, I'm just going to experiment. So, you know how to reset now? Yeah, I do. Thank so, God. we're cool. I'm just going to push. Yeah, see, that's, that's the problem. That's what we need. <laughs> we need to do the opposite. Oh, maybe you can loop. That's probably what we need to do. Oh, you can kind of loop around. But then I, but then you die. So maybe you can loop around when the block's there. There, there you go. And now you're safe. Oh no, no. Oh. Yeah, I'm good now. Oh, now you're long enough. Oh, okay. But now, oh yeah, and I think now I need to like get on there, and then head over. Gravity worm. It's all you need to be is sucked into a wormhole, man. <laughs> That's okay. Right. Okay. So what is that little leafy thing? Is that something to eat? Same deal. Oh yeah, push it over. Uh, probably another one. I'm just just being one like cautious. One more over, and then you can eat that thing, and then it's long. And then you're long enough. Okay, and now 
You'll probably have to get both of, both of those over. Okay, so somehow. I'm thinking um I'm thinking maybe I need to be on top of this thing. Oh yeah. And then up, 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 over, over, over. Oh not no. quite. Oh. No. Okay. I think you need to push. Well you'll have to push it over because there's not much left to do. Well, let's should we see? Yeah. We can reset it. I mean I knew that would go down there. Can you get up there no? no. Not really. No, you can't get up there either. Try and just I, and try I and think... make it for there. I don't think you're gonna make it. You need those both of those. Obviously you need that top ball. No, gravity worm. Okay. Oh! Oh! Don't get the bean yet. Yeah, use it. Use it to get up there. There you go. Step on it. Yeah, there you go. Get that guy down there. Um, yeah, you can get the bean. Get over. Get that guy down, which will push him over. And yeah. now, and now we go down here. One over. And that should be enough. Wormhole vortex. Holy nice. shit! Ooh, lots of danger on this shit one. Shit just got real. Okay. So there's two two types of spikes. There's the normal one we've seen, but then there's like hmm. fluffy spikes. And okay. There's, th there's five things to get. Oh, uh oh, that might have been a okay, mistake. We just, yep, because it covers a pair. Oh no, you can push it over. Okay. Yeah, you can get the egg. No. Um, but that'll drop that guy. I know. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, you can push over. Necessarily. Oh, I might have fucked up though, because now I can't push either. That's right, because they're against each other. Okay. No gravity Let's worm. Let's see what that thing does. Go into it. Ah, uh, yeah, it kills you. That's crazy. It replays you. What? No. <laughs> Shows you a replay of your death. Okay. Okay. So you can drop that one, and it's fine. You definitely don't want to get the pair yet. Oh. Because at the bottom, because you don't want to get either of those things, really. Oh, boy. I'm thinking maybe that. I don't know if that's going to. Maybe. That might, that now probably, you can't get it. I probably fucked this up. You can't up, push it but... back. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Because that's in a good spot now. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I see. So now I, I probably... Oh, you know And what? now I'm dead. I know. You have to get one of those things on top of the other. Yeah. Those two blocks? Yeah. And I need to be bigger. Well, once you get all the fruit, you'll be fine. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Need a little helping hand. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Maybe you can go to the next planet. Let's let's try and go to the next planet now that we've made it there. No, no I can't. Can't. No. Oh. Oh. You can go there. Oh. Holy <laughs> Whoa. shit. What is happening here? Oh. Oh, it is a medium you can go through. Okay. Okay. Yep. A path through there. Oh, you eat away it. Ooh, so you can't go back through it once you've eaten it. Uh oh. So you gotta get Fucked that pair. Up. And then I would get maybe that pair and you can get back in. Oh no. Now you've. Oh no, you can get that guy. Yep. There you go. Oh, you can walk on yourself. That's funny. Yeah, go for that pair, drop straight down, go through the wormhole. Nice. Oh no, your tail! Ah. Oh, there's some more minutia to this. Yeah. Than I, than so I you ever... gotta get your tail out of the way. But that's definitely the pattern. Gravity worm. Okay. So, kind of snake a bit up to get your tail far over. Yeah, there you go. Now Maybe go over. And and then left. Damn it. How do you get your tail over? Walk across pair. Oh maybe and loop back to pick up so snakes on the top. Good idea. 
Oh, across the pair. Ah, smart. Now go to the right. And, oh, I don't think you left enough room for yourself. Oh, oh, good. Oh, up. Oh, oh, no. 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 <laughs> Gravity worm. Oh, just fall off the cliff. No, hold on. Oh, go, another go at going it. Going back. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, if you traverse through there. Uh -huh. Another pass. Round two. Uh-oh. Yeah. Then up and around, loop back on yourself. Uh -oh. oh, you didn't go high enough. If you went up, up, and then down. Oh, you're still you're still happening. There you go. Nice. Hey, gravity worm <laughs> made it. Okay. more than one way to get a worm Holy to a hole. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. This is, are these spikes going to fucking kill Thanks me? Thanks so much, Captain I Classic, for they that. are. Uh, oh, no, you're good. You just don't want to get yourself trapped. That's Like that? Oh, no. That's I like funny. that Gravity Worm can just sleep, you yeah, know? He's like, eh, he's just, just like, go to fuck sleep. Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> so this okay. is a up and around, and then down. Well, I think that's exactly oh, no. what I did. Yeah. Oh, I got to go through. Do it the other way. Yeah, I'll do. So down and up, yeah. There you go. Oh, no. no. Wow. Oh, I think I know what to do. Maybe. We'll see. It's not quite that. Worm finds the hole. Maybe I need to get the other one first. We'll see. Oh, that'd be worse, wouldn't it? I think so. Oh, this is the same. But yeah, the problem is, is he goes back in. I think I gotta get the other one first. I'm gonna try okay. it out. Oh, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gravity worm. <laughs> He is susceptible to gravity. Okay. I don't know if you can do this any other way than how you did it with the banana. Is that a banana? <laughs> or a bean? It's a pretty thin yeah, banana. Yeah, it's the only way. Damn it, gravity worm. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's not even open anyway. Can't get there. Okay. I think it's the pair and you just got to do it a certain way. Maybe. You're doing it different, at least. Oh, up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, gravity worm. Okay. Now one's just double back on yourself, and then you're tall enough. Okay. Hey. This will be the last one. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Lots, lots of fruit to get. Gravity Ooh. worm's about to fall and die. Uh, no. No. There you go. Now, this one's tricky. Now, how do you... As long as you don't fall on it. Like that, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, okay, gravity worm. Do your magic. Early worm gets the hole. There you go. That's right. Oh, redeem highlight my message for 100. That's funny. Pretty unique, or anybody know about a similar game? I mean, there's games... Like in this realm, but not like the mechanics in this. No. Oh, you just can't fall on it. You can go over it as long as your body is over it. Oh, with the replay, you can take control at any time. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So you can. So if you've done ninety percent of it, you just be like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, now I'll take control. That's kind of cool, man. I'm actually into that. Yeah, that's a really good way of doing it. Down, and you're safe. And you just got to make sure. Nice. That's good. And then over, over, down. So you've got a base, so you won't fall. Nice. Yeah, slink your way up. Oh, I'm learning how gravity worm works, <laughs> finally. Okay, I'm, so I'm thinking I have to fall, pretty much. Yeah. This is, I don't see any other way. you can't go on that spike. You're just going to have to fall all the way down. And then you're going to go backwards, I think. You need to move down after going to make the upside down U. Yep. Ooh, can you make it up there? I think so. Oh, nice. That was the right way to do it. And now it's the banana. Can you get that pair? Are you long enough? Nice. Oh, you're set. Just don't. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now it's the banana. But, yeah. And then do a U. Can you make it up and around? I think I have to. Left. Should up, I get... Left. Yeah. I think you're long enough. Perfect. Gravity worm. Okay, I'm understanding. Okay, great. What a great concept for a game.
Yeah, I can see why this made it into the oh, top man. 10 nominations. Oh man, what an addictive one too. Yeah. So is 8-Bit um, higher than uh, Atari in terms of its graphical the, quality? The 2600. The 2600, yeah. Oh yeah, it's well advanced. Okay, like, that's um, good. It's, it's a computer system. It's funny because 8-Bit to me is like really low. It's, it's a realm. But just be, but I don't, know the, I don't know the hierarchy. It's, I'm sort of learning it. 8-Bit is a, is a descriptive of the amount of memory you can address at any given time it can only address an 8-bit length of memory and in television i believe was the first system to be is this the first 16-bit system yeah. that had uh, a bigger memory size you could jump to or have um so next one is imogen i-m-o-g E N Imogen, that's a beautiful name. It is. I, I, I don't Very know. Nice. I think it's Scandinavian, I believe. That's like a name I'd almost like name my kid, but the only problem is, is it's just too weird. <laughs> and after yeah. being cursed with a that name like Erlen, I'd be like, damn. I'd be like, yeah, pass on the pain. Yeah, he, hey, Imogen. <laughs> Your name is Imogen. It just, the hard thing <laughs> is, is like, I think you just call them M or M. Yep, which is also Which is weird. I don't weird. know. I love it, though. It's such a beautiful name. <laughs> Wavity germ. <laughs> RV Everett, welcome. Um, so this is by Frantisek, Fandel, Aura, Petter, Hardcore, Postava, Lucas Bezdek, Jose Pereira, and the original game was by Michael St. Auburn. So, yeah. ST? That saint? must be Saint. Yeah, oh, we got a Saint cool. here. It is yeah. a girl's name. Imogen Poot, oh. I think. It's, a be it's an be actress, a really amazing actress who's really curly hair. She's really amazing. Yeah, it is a good name. Oh. So, C to con view the controls, which I think we should because, yes. Uh, written by Michael St. Alvin. Poots, uh, yeah, I got it right. Originally, it was 1986. Uh, game controls, joystick movement. Option select start is our icon menu, which I know now what Jose. these keys are. F234. And one, two, three is transform hotkeys. I think we're set. Whatever that means. I played this a little bit, and I was like, I was stuck pretty quick. It's another puzzly type game. Okay, let's do it. Press cool. button. Whoa. Very different look. Hey, dude, this is like a we got a we got like a, a crow character. We have a, a an elephant or a Cthulhu character. <laughs> it could be any of the. So when I played this briefly, you can transform into a monkey, hey. you can transform into a dog, whoa, or a wizard. Now I know the 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 monkey can climb the ropes man. if you press the button. Monkey's my guy, man. Monochrome screen. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the... Um, what happens? Can I jump off of them? Oh, I didn't mean to. Now I'm dead, probably. No, I think, I think you're pretty safe. Oh, man. It reminds me a lot of the 8-bit uh, systems, early 8-bit computer systems. Oh, I bet that's a uh, teleport. Oh, don't oh, jump I out of it yet. Oh, I don't think so. I don't know if it's a teleport. I think it's just a nest, right? Oh. So you see that, like, it's just indicating to us, I like... Because I know what the monkey can do. I don't know what the dog's big function is or the wizard's yet. I know just the monkey can climb. Spectrum. Yes, that's what it reminds me I of. I want to jump off of it, ZX but I don't Spectrum. quite know how yet. You, well, you did, didn't you? Well, oh, you go up to the top, and then... Do I, I just hold let it? Let go of the button and press... Oh, you can only press in the direction you're facing. That's what I found out. So you can only fall off in the direction you're facing. Oh, okay. So I gotta basically like get my monkey situated. Man, I love monkeys. It's cool. <laughs> They're trouble. Monkeys are cool. Okay, let's turn into a. Let's go the wizard. Let's see. See what he can do. What does he do? You press the button. Oh. <laughs> what? Well, I was just seeing if I if I push the button and move oh, to a direction. Okay. I was just experimenting because I don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, dog can jump far. Okay. Oh, okay, man. so wizard again. So just press the button. Nothing. Nothing. Up in the button, down in the button. Okay, turn left just a little bit and press the button. Okay, nothing. Let's dog it up. I think this is just indicating that, like, God, that's cute. Oh, you can jump pretty high, yeah. I still don't quite know how I did that. Oh, I held, hold it down and push full backwards. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so he like just falls like big time. Okay, so let's I'm gonna... try the wizard. We know that. Let's, okay, let's press the button and jump and run. We can jump a little bit. Try up and down in the button. No. Okay. 
There must be specific levels. I'm just yeah. going to explore a little bit more. And so there's an egg we can actually maybe get with the monkey. Monkey mode. Let's get that monkey going. Yeah, this is my homie right here. <laughs> this monkey. Were you around a campfire? You smell like a campfire. Was I? No, I, I wasn't. These clothes were campfire. Or, what, I wonder why I or, smell like a campfire. Or, or even a fire in a house. I must have been. Is it like camping clothes? Not really. Uh, it's very heavy campfire smell. I must have been... I mean, I walk around so much. <laughs> so you've got an egg. Oh, we have an egg in the inventory now. I don't maybe, know what that maybe, means. Maybe I put them in the thing. Let's find out. Oh, maybe. So do we need the dog to get up there? Yeah. Oh. Or no, not. not quite. Okay. No, you can't quite jump high enough. Interesting. Okay, my so okay. we've got an egg... We've got a bunch of nests, but why would we be putting the egg back in a nest somewhere? Let's let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's, maybe we'll try this nest. We'll see what that feels like. <laughs> do I smell like a campfire? I do though, don't I? <laughs> yeah. God, it's not no. a bad smell. It's no, it's like, not oh, a bad smell. It's, it's nice. Like... Campfire smells nice. It's just like, why? Yeah. The, the fact that I don't even know is not a good sign. Maybe, maybe this is where. So like, you see, you see like the um. The little That's indicator fine. up top? Yeah. I'm wondering how... Do you want me to try some buttons? Yeah, and see. Oh, okay. there we go. And then... It's the option button. Now, does the... Now, push the same one that transforms you into the... Dog? Yeah. Okay. Oh, switches to the dog. Okay. But I can go back to the... Oh, there we go. Down in the button. Lay the egg. <laughs> I feel like the wizard, this is where... It's a wizard kind of thing. Shot, left, wizard can shoot. Oh. Damn. Maybe I have to go on the egg again? There's on the egg. Okay. Try shooting. Maybe he needs a gun first. Wow. There's a torch there. Maybe we can torch it up? I don't know. Jump up. Trying to jump up to the torch, or do you hit your head? Oh, okay. Um, uh, I've been barbecuing a lot. That might be that's, it. That could be it. It's just, I barbecue almost every day now. Um, let's try the other buttons here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, this moves left and right. Okay, so let's try that. Press the button. Oh, maybe I have to do I it. feel like there's probably... Uh... Okay, this is where we are. Duck egg blues. Oh, whoa, letters? What is happening? Let's go over to the question mark. Enter a password, which we don't have. Oh, it's music no... on or off. There's no not, music. None of it's playing, no. Uh, no, we don't need to save or load. <laughs> Section 1, Doug Egg. You have one shot. Displayed Display... at the top right. Okay. Oh, I don't see it. I see 135 in the top right, and I see an egg. Do we shoot the egg? Uh, okay. Well, we'll stay on wizard. I guess. Left but one. Oh, from the egg? I don't know. So we only have two screens here. Let's just climb up the climb up the, the thing again. Yeah, we'll climb we'll up. Go up to another the... nest. Oh yeah, you have to approach it from that side. Okay, monkey. I believe in you, little buddy. Good stuff. Okay, now what should we do? <laughs> should we watch a video? On I mean, how to the play design this? is amazing. It but is. I'm, but at the same time, we're lost. We're lost. We have one shot, but what would we even shoot? We don't even have anything in range to shoot. Can you go? The monkey can kind of jump over a bit. Okay, now. Face left on that and see how far he can move off the rope if you keep pressing. Just one. Let me see, though. One. I didn't really... And just keep holding it. If he can, like, keep going. No. no. Just one. So go back you to the other... shoot at the big egg. Ah, cool. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I just gotta figure out how to shoot now. Yeah, we don't even know how to shoot. Yeah, man. Oh, that makes sense. If we're on that... Ah, uh, if we're on this one and then we can, like, fire over... Yeah. I gotta turn around. 
Oh, it's tough. It would be nice if you could just change directions. Yes. Yeah, but like... that probably comes into play later. It's like, oh, no, you have to approach it from this side. Okay, if you're the wizard. Okay, we're the wizard now. And let's go on the egg. Okay. Up, down. Just don't fall off. Oh, well, that's just because I was trying. Uh, it's tricky, right? Because I'm like, I, I have to try all these, all these, like... So now how do we actually shoot? Yeah. That's the thing. These are these are these are good questions. Cuz I have maybe to, I have, I have to, do to it? be faced this oh, way. Oh, let me do it. Yeah. There, I have to select. Do it. I sh press and Now press the button. Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh, probably have to do one more time. Damn. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thrust. We got there in the end. Okay, got to be monkey. Get our monkey mode going. Oh, yeah. Monkey mode. That's the best mode. <laughs> this is monkey mode. Okay. Wizard. Okay. Select the egg. Got it in hand. One more shot. Should knock it off. And now we've got an egg and a bullet. No! But nice. it fell on the thing. Okay, so if I grab this egg, I wonder what's going to happen. Does that just go... Oh. Oh, now I can turn into Now the... you can get up on that lever. Oh. Yeah. So now I'm going to be monkey? dog. Think the dog? Yeah, because he can jump farther. Oh, maybe he just needs to get up on the egg and jump off the egg. Oh. Yeah, see, I, I got to I gotta that time out. that a little bit better. Yeah. God, that's a cute dog. That's a good dog with the wagging tail. There you go. No. Too far. It's like falls. Okay. Very old school where when you jump, that's your jump. Whoa, it's weird, like, because um, it kind of like slides a little bit too, you know? Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, well, almost. Almost. We're getting close, friends. We're so close. Okay. No, okay, okay, okay. Man, this is a slow-paced game. <laughs> it is. Very methodical. Uh, uh, yeah! Yes! New screen! Okay, we've got... Okay. Definitely got monkey time. Monkey mode engaged. I think we got to throw, maybe, maybe... Maybe we got a leg. So we definitely have to climb up. We could throw... Yeah. Okay. But I don't, I don't think that... Um, monkey can... Jump far jump enough. Jump far enough off there. So do we have to throw the egg? Wow. One step forward, two steps back. You can't make it to the nest, and you can't make it over there. So, can I throw the? Try to switch over to the um to the thing. I'm wondering if no, he doesn't do anything with the egg. No, I have to do wizard. Ready? Ready to throw? Yeah. Throw! Oh no! Yeah, no, that's not the way. It can't be. Let's see if I can get the egg, then turn into the monkey. And if I no. turn back into the wizard, does he have the egg still? No, I think we gotta like. You have to do it super quick. Uh, no, I think we there's another. There has to be another way. Um, is that bird on the last? Catch screen? the bird. Catch the bird. Oh, oh I see. I see. Oh, I can as catch the him. monkey. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try that. It's the only way. Yeah. And then we'll move on to the next game <laughs> because time is ticking. This is a good game though. I like mm -hmm. this action puzzle game. Yeah. Where it's like different modes you can be in to do different things and different abilities. Oh, oh you have to jump again. Bad timing. Okay. I got I to gotta I thought he flew better. right to you. Cool. Yeah, what really changed like high risk activities for me is my sister had a really bad motorcycle accident. Oh, and geez. sort of seeing like how vulnerable we are. Um, I probably wouldn't ride a motorcycle in my life because of it. It's just, you're very exposed. Oh. <laughs> you have to let go and then press? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Well, it's just one of those things where it was like, if she was in a car, we wouldn't have even, we wouldn't have actually even had a conversation about it. It would have been like an annoying insurance thing. It would have been, And yeah. But because she was on a motorcycle, it was like, you know, eight, Life eight months of... Oh. Oh, now you <gasps> are the bird. I can turn into a bird, dude. Well, that Hold changes the everything. Phone, man. Do I get to fly? Oh, now you can. Now we're now we're talking. Okay, now we're just playing like a different game. Yeah. 
fly as long as you like, right? Yeah. I just wanted to check this out, see yeah. how this is feeling. Empty nest there. Oh, is there anywhere that we couldn't get to in this level? Nope. And I think the other one was just empty. There was just an yeah. egg. Yeah. It's 121. I wonder what that means. So how many more things we have what to do? What is this? Oh, this might just be the level complete. Yeah, the goal. And uh, let's just take a brief look at what this other level is all yeah, about. Yeah, to see the next puzzle. We won't do it, but we'll check it out. Oh, okay, now we've got a thing. <laughs> Okay. Let's Sparkle, sparkly thing. I want to figure out what our next bit is. Oh, he's oh, he so jumps. cute. God nice. damn, is it a cute game. <laughs> See, this? I think this game's so much cuter than, like, the ponies one. Just because, like, <laughs> the ponies is, like, telling you it's cute. This is just, like, is cute, you know? Go back to the far, far screen, because yeah. there was somebody there. There must have been something if I... There was oh there was nobody there. What's so what happens with this sparkle stuff? Maybe you have to put it in a specific. What happens if we hit this egg with it? Let's try okay. that out. I feel like that's our best go. I think we got oh we got to be the wizard. I bet. Oh the wizard. This yeah. is my best guess. Oh for sure. Is that this egg? And select it. Oh. Whoa. Oh oh he just uses it oh, to teleport. Oh cool. So okay so now we're back now we're onto a new level and we're missing the bird and it's just kind of start from scratch. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh wow. Let's just check out that over to the right. Yeah, going There's and check a bell it. there or something. There's two boulders. Oh wow, it's like another wizard. So you have to get the dog to go in the umbrella which lifts that up to get the wizard thing. So yeah. we probably need we probably need to become like a bird again or something. That's yeah. cool that we know what our objective is now. Something that attracts the dog. Let's check out this monkey. Let's just do a little climbing. Yeah. Hey, buddy. See what's up top. Oh, we can't. Uh, oh, we got to do this. We can do that. Nice. Oh, but it's interesting. We're situated a certain direction, so there's who no... can use things again. Yeah, it's totally started from scratch here. Oh, wow. So you have to ring certain bells and. I'm certain just gonna order. check out this yeah. side first. Can't even get there yet. See what's up over here. There's a, like a lever and more bells. Let's see what this is all about, monkey. <laughs> or is that something to ring the bell? I think it might be. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So let's uh, see who uses that. I bet you it's the wizard. And that reset it. So no! Oops. <laughs> the emulated system. It's the best we can do. <laughs> okay, that was very cool. Uh, that was Imogen. Ritual objects. Uh, the next one we're on to is Jet Set Willy Cartucus. 2019. Is that going to work? No, it's just sitting there. Let's reboot that. I think it needs to be... Nice until it crashed, yeah. Oh, I did that. It didn't crash. Don't blame the... No. That's on me. Okay, we just entered into the matrix right yeah. here. Loading okay. screen. Jet set Willy. Let's just says good music. Should we jump in? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I recognize this music. This is a, a, a remake. This is Jet Set Willy 2019 by Terrence Tez Derby, original game by Matthew. What do we Smith. have a, a Mobius strip up here? Yeah, a it's Mobius not a, triangle. <laughs> Mobius stuff. Uh, yeah, go for it. It's not even a Mobius strip. It's an impossible yeah, I... thing. Now, this is a remake Where of am I? Uh, am I this guy? Spectrum game? Yep. Okay, so there's a toilet. Faucet. Got a little faucet. Crazy toilet going on. What happens if I jump on this toilet? Anyway? Oh, it might blast you up. No, it's, you can't even work with it. Whoa. So you've got, like, seven lives... Got a little thing up there. You got some stairs. Um, you've got a uh, Swiss Army knife. Okay, I'm kill thinking you. that I gotta kind of come at it from this direction. <laughs> I think so. Items collected one. So obviously it's a collectathon. Uh, the time is 7:02 a.m. So that means there's a time limit going on. God, jump, buddy! Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. I played a very similar game on my C64 called uh, Alligator Bladder. Blagger. Alligator. Okay, I did play this a little bit. You're gonna have to not jump above it. I think you have to go right down to the bottom. And wait till it's at the top. And get the second item. Oh. There you go. 
Spinning razor blades are never good. Yeah, I always want to avoid those if there's ever an option. Okay, we got <laughs> Number grenade. Two. That's good news. Okay, I'm just gonna go down. Uh, this is the master bedroom. Uh, oh, oh, you died. Um, Did I lose my grenade? And she's like, no, nah, you gotta keep going. It's just an item. I don't think that they're usable items. So obviously, that's probably the ending. Right there. I'm not quite sure Ooh, exactly. Because oh, I can't really jump up anymore. You gotta jump over that guy? Yeah. Or do I drop down? Maybe. Awesome music. Because I don't know, I can't jump up, and no, I can't I, jump over that thing. You either have to fall down or jump over that Swiss Army knife. Which I don't think... I think you can just barely make it, so if it's coming at you, I think you'll be safe if you time it right. I should time it when I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to fall in the pit. Follow him along, and... And jump over the pit and him at the same time. Oh, too early. Or too... Damn, this guy. Yeah, too early. There you go. You got it. Now what? Uh... Let's see, is there anything I can do over here now? Maybe you do have to fall down the pit. That's my bet. Because that's all that's left. Bath that's overflowing and the toilet going crazy. Awesome so, music. This is his home, man. This is. But I know it's it's um it's from the original game. There you go. Ah, there you go. Okay, falling down a pit is not a bad thing in this game. Okay, Takes we got. Two to place. I don't know what that is. First landing. It looks like a Whoa. monk. Whoa! Looks like a monk. I just turned into a pig. This is called the nightmare room. Yeah, this is a fun. And there's a Monty Python foot. The buy-in tree. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It just, he kind of went crazy. It wasn't... Should I fall down? Uh, get up there. Oh, you're losing lives. Get up to the next little ledge there. Oh. Ooh. Let's go back a bit and then jump on it. There you go. Oh. No. That's up at the top. So you can position yourself in the ledge. Oh. Uh, so I have to nail it perfectly? Yay! There you go. Oh my I god. I gotta jump over, over it. it for sure. Whoa! Within a pixel. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, you hit your head, so you rip. gotta hit it and then slide down. Also, an item at the bottom. Whoa! Right? Shit. <laughs> Monty Python killed you. <sighs> let me get. Yeah, let me play. you try one, man. Damn. I didn't get that faucet, I think. Yeah. There we go. Items collected. Yeah, you just gotta collect all the items. Is that the game? Yeah. Collect a thon. Get all the items. And then I guess you end up going back to that uh, that room with the, the woman in it. But she's like, nope, get out of here. And maybe once you've got all the items, she's, she's fine with you coming back. That's a grenade? That's like a lamp. Oh, it is a lamp. I, in my brain, <laughs> I'm like, grenade! It's a grenade, man! Let's go see. Is this. So we oh, have that's to... it. So I have to fall down. Whoa! At least I don't have to jump over. Yeah, at least we know what we're doing now, you know? Yeah. Should I go for that to the right? You could also try to drop down and see what that is. I can't go there. Oh, I guess you have to go up it's forcing through me. it. Can Interesting. I, oh. Can I jump through it? Oh, I yeah, can. Okay. Can. Good. Oh, you can hurt yourself. Yeah, so just jump over it. When yeah. You're at the bottom. Okay. Maybe I keep pressing. Oh, they must actually not want you to do it. There oh, we no, go. we got it. Okay. It's gonna be tough. Oh, Jesus. Nope, nope, nope. No! Let's <laughs> uh, kind of sink in there. And I don't think you can really do much when you're even in here. 
like, because I don't think you can jump high enough to really get those. Not in time. I might drop down and see if that oh, kills yep. you or if that opens up a new level. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, that Spider. looks deadly. It's not flashing. There's the flashing thing. Uh, ooh, boy, nightmare oh. fuel. There's like so many collectibles in this oh. one. That out, right? Look at look at these faces. This is really cool. Yeah, that was a little slower. So, but there's a bunny to jump over. Oh, lots of collect. Oh, I can't stop. <laughs> I can't bunny. stop. It's a slidey table. Oh man. I guess you maybe gotta get it from the other side. This is a massive game. It's a good game, but yeah. holy shit. Okay. Going right now. Oh, he's doing a spin. Can you jump over. Oh, I got it all. But you can't stop on the table. Let's it check just out the other going. side. See if... And that's a day. That's it? Okay, cool. Okay. So I gotta time it. Because it just keeps going. Like you can't stop once you're on it. Oh! Oh! Maybe it only goes in one direction. Uh oh. Oh no! Uh oh. Am I done for? Oh, no. Oh! Whoa! Come on! Go! No! Oh. Yeah, once once the momentum's going. There we go. I can't stop. No. <laughs> That's weird. Like I can go this direction, but if I jump back on it, it automatically pushes me that way, and I can't turn around. Or oh, I can walk below it. That doesn't help. Well, maybe it can. Maybe if I do it at the last second, and jump over the bunny. No, I'm not tall enough. Yeah, you gotta time it at the I'm right screwed. time. It's all about. No, it's not. Way. I don't think you're. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Creepy heads. It's like a fever dream. It really is. Can I touch those? No. The hall. Very cool. Lots of conversions in this comp yeah. compo. The next one, too. It's pop yes. Lots of ports. Well, then I need to use the bathroom real quick. Oh, okay. I'll just like. I, do you want to get the next one yep. started I'll first? And then I'll. Go on. I'll, I can run on. Oh, and I'll play it. Okay. Yeah. Next one's Monty on the Run. And this is also. A um, older game that has been. Oh. There we go. This one has great music too. Classic music. Atari BDSM Productions. <laughs> Quite the choice of name. Uh, now I know what Monty does on his Tuesday nights. <laughs> so this is made by uh, Christoph Rastin Robel, Merrick Konop Konopka, and Michael Miker Zipilowski, uh, and the original game by Jason Perkins and Terry Droid. Monty on the run. And the music made by um, the mighty Rob Hubbard. Oh man, Rob. So let's get this going? Do I need to press them? Oh, that was just the loading screen apparently. Oh. There we go. Fire to start. We are ready to go. Now I've seen people play this a lot. And I played this a little bit in preparation for the... And another classic tune. Amazing music. Very much done in the style of the last game, uh, in terms of the graphics and layout, uh, as um, Jet Set Willy. Yeah, very British. Let's see if I can get this, this one. Oh, 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 don't jump twice. There we go. Now, if you ever listen to chip tune music for any length of time, this uh, song will come up. Oh my God! Why did I go that way? Now, is there anything this way? No. Just unbelievable music. That's unpredictable. That little squisher thing. Okay, so you got to get all the coins gotten two coins. No, I don't. I just have 150 scores. So, death below. Now you hop up there. No. Do I have to hop up to the left and then the right? I think so. How far does he go? There. 
There we go. There we go. Oh, why did it keep going? Wait for a double. There we go. Don't keep going. We'll go up some more. Fall down there. Um, do I want to try and get those fives? Yeah, let's do that. Just for fun. Got that one. That one. Then I'm guessing that's a rope. Yep. Okay. And then we just kind of do the same thing up here. Oh. Oh my god. Oh well. How is it? Really good. Oh, very, I feel very better. challenging. Oh, it's so good. Sometimes you, you're you trying to like hold it in and then it's never <laughs> just fun. Not gonna make it. Yeah, I just feel so much more relaxed. Are we like a like a polar bear? Uh it is a um God, the designs of these characters are amazing. It's just like a like... badger. I <laughs> so what have we done? We've played a gravity worm. <laughs> We've played like a fucking monkey slash wizard slash dog slash chicken. Yeah. And then what did we play last time? A guy just trying to collect plumbing equipment <laughs> in his yep. fucking crazy fever dream. <laughs> and somehow the master of this place is like doesn't want to even look God. at you. It's like, dude, what happened to your house, master? It's just like, there's literally, is crazy, it's man. literally a nightmare. Mole, sorry. Oh Monty man, mole. and we got a mole going on. What, what else do, I feel like we had even more. It's been so Dude. many creative characters. Ponies. And we had ponies. Today is like, Full it's of the animals. zoo day, man. We it gotta is. play zookeeper to finish this up. <laughs> Round it out. Yeah, catch seriously. Those, we catch need, those animals. We need a zookeeper. So you gotta collect all those things. Um, I don't think you have to, but, but I that's mean, the point, right? Yeah. It's oh like coins, God. man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a look at levels. Yeah, I think uh, it's not a bad I'm idea. Die first, I'd be yes. curious what's up top. Um, have, you, have you tried that out yet? To get on the roof? Yeah, I'm just. I don't oh, know. I if don't that, think you can. I don't know if that does anything. I feel like that's a good way to get killed too. Yeah, I think so. Oh. No, you can oh, you can, there. but it just doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay, I feel so much better now. <laughs> I've gotten those fives already, so I'm just going to push forward to see other levels. Oh, God. Whoa, piston, damn. So it does come down twice sometimes, so I'm going to wait for the double. There we go. Oops. away for double again because he can only jump and move at the same time he can't just there we go interesting this little badger mole mole sorry <laughs> oh no oh the hitbox whenever i hear mole i think just mole rat from fallout <laughs> the mole rats yeah, yeah. come on do you ever see this movie called fast cheap and out of control uh, so it's a, I haven't. Oh. It's a really good documentary, but there's a guy whose his thing is naked mole rats. It's his whole life, man. <laughs> is all about just, naked mole yeah, rats. Yeah, and you just hear what? him, and he's got this little bow tie, and not that that like is important, but it just paints the picture of who this guy what he is. Looks like. Yeah. yeah, and it's so interesting. Why does he keep going to the left? Because like he just goes on and on about naked mole rats and how like interesting they are. Because because in his mind they're the only mammal that um that attribute behavior similar to ants which is fascinating oh. to him because hive sort of ant mentality you see that in bees and insects but you don't see that in in, in mammals right. so naked mole rats are these very interesting creatures because they have like very this unique yeah this different hierarchical system and and imagine that and then him just talking for another like 40 minutes about it that is essentially the gist of it Funny. but I, you know, that that's whenever I think mole rats and, and, and moles, I think about, like, Fallout and that guy, you know? <laughs> so what's up with the bronies thing? Is that... That's a whole subculture, right? I don't know really much People about it. People that are it. really, really into My Little Pony. Yeah. Especially the, the reboot of it. The hitbox on this guy is too big. Yeah, 
like when you die, you can see a little square around him, and it's like above his Kev, head that much. Kev just said so accurately. No ramp up and difficulty is full hard mode. It seems. Oh yeah, throws yeah, you right some into of the these, mix. I'd say like God the same with it. the last one, man. Like it's like there's no. These are these are pretty hardcore tough games. Now, are are all these unique originals, or are these? No, a lot um, of these are ported from. This is a port. The Jets at Willy was a port. I'm Imogen's a port. Castle Defenders a port. Um, but the other ones Naked played. Mole Rats on the run. Yeah, man. Ritual objects. So that gives you a good idea of the game. Oh, let's take a look at the different color mode. Doesn't really give it more um, definition. Just changes it to black. You and said white. the originals. Thrust is the originals of these are as hard as well. Yeah. Um, Super yeah, challenging. and it is hard to know. It's that's the interesting thing about the internet, right? It's hard to know with the, the 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 sincerity or ironic. I feel the same thing about flat Earth stuff. It's hard to know how much <laughs> of that is people trolling. Um, I has to used to have an old friend that would like he was a lunatic and he would just go on forums for oh. things. He was a he was an internet troll. I yeah. lived with oh, him God. and he loved just riling things up. So he would go on forums and try to try to write like things that would get conversations going and he'd show oh, me no. and, and he was just but I, but it's hard to know right in the internet these days like how much where what's that line between sincerity and what's that you know thing oh, between yeah. like or how much is this? Because the other thing too is that when you have a Should mixture of here. stuff, there might be some sincere people, but there might also be some people who are like uh, just trolls, and then they're talking to each other. Didn't even come close to me. I have to jump over this guy. The hitbox underneath yeah. you is very small, but on top of you, it's like almost half your height. Wow, what a challenging like even just even just to get from like one thing to the next. Oh my god, this is out of control. This is amazing. All the way up here. Should I go to the right yeah. or the left? Let's go to the right. And I right. think a lot of the... That's why I actually personally avoid a lot of conversations on the internet in, in forum <laughs> style stuff. Oh, you'll because, never win. Because I like having... If, if winning is your goal. Yeah, and I love having conversations with people because I feel like intonation is so important to communication. Oh, like, yeah. like how someone's saying it. Like I feel like I can figure out whether someone's sincere or not in person. Or even over the phone, but yeah. on the internet, someone can type anything, and you don't know whether they're just trolling, whether they believe this, whether you know. That that squishing thing, I've I've watched some videos on people playing this game, and that's always touted as the downfall of this game. This random increments. Totally random. It could be like squish and not do anything wow. for a while, or squish squish, and when it does it twice in a row, it's like, well, what do you do? Like you're you're lost. You're oh, gonna yeah, you lose can a come guy. Up on the other side. I feel like like tro trolling behaviors moved into real life though. It's very weird. You are right, and yeah. I even I even do it sometimes. Like I was at a party and I was I was even ah. trolling like a little bit, and then and it's that thing where like you say something and then someone takes it very sincerely, and then you kind of look around the room, you catch eyes with someone, and <laughs> one person realizes you're bullshitting, and it's like you know I try not to do that too much, but it's it is so true. It's like it translates over. So the next game we're gonna be playing. That one was very cool. Um. Nice little platformer, not a puzzle one. Uh, this one is called with the Rescue Expedition uh, by Kemel Gorg Trazka, ah. Christoph Kaz Zembic, Michael Caruso, Brzezicki. Oh boy. Okay, instructions and tips. Press down to change. Oh no! This is a demo version with without music and intro with only two levels. Okay. Okay. I did play this briefly. It is very short, two levels. Like it's, you're done in like um, minutes. This is a good question for you to answer. I know I for sure haven't. Ever tried the game called I Want to Be the Guy? Really difficult troll game. Whoa. Mm. No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, there's uh, different abilities to change in this one. So you've got. Oh my God. Okay. And I think you're invulnerable. Invincible while well, you have that. Uh oh, so. Yeah, you're getting hit. Yeah, you can kill them with that. Oh no, you don't need the keyboard. It's just pressing down to change. See so up at the top, you've got a gun. Whoa! Uh, you've only got three bullets left. Uh oh. So now you've got a grappling hook. You see where it changes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, is that. Do I have to collect that? You have to whip that. Whoa, shit. 
Actually, it's not over in a couple oh, minutes. Ugh. No, you don't want to be that. You have to go up and then press the button to go it's off of it. It's just hard to... So practice there. Don't uh, don't go down there yet. There's death down there. Can you jump that up? Thing. We have to whip that thing. Oh, I see. There you go. Yay! So you have to whip that thing in the bottom right. Collect I that see. coin. You can whip the spiders, so keep it on the whip. There you go. So you have to whip that down there. There you go. Get out of there. Oh, you're pretty safe. You have to back up and then go. Okay, I'm gonna just... Oh, God. Okay. And then use your grappling hook to get the heck out of there. I love games with the, the swinging. Ah, oh, okay. It just takes a second to learn type how to of, do this. Uh, yeah, every game has its own little way of doing it. Probably don't want to go up all the way to the top, like almost, and then you can swing over. There you go. Okay, okay. Screen number two. Yeah, make it safe first. Then <laughs> get that next coin. I mean, I have to grapple it. And uh, RC70 says, this is such a cool style into shape. Yeah, it's kind of, it's monochrome, but also it changes color throughout the screen. It's very much like a Vectrex type of game in terms of color, where it's like an overlay almost with a color that just goes down. Oh, come on, buddy. Be Spider-Man. Use your Spider-Man skills. Takes a second to like... Uh, maybe just uh, whatever. I'm not too worried. Do I have to collect all the coins? Well, this is the only. This is the second screen, so you might as well complete the whole game. It's only two screens. There you go. Yay! Now I played this, and you have to use your grappling hook to descend down. Ah. And you probably don't want to descend on the right because that's full of terrible dangers. Kill the spider, and yeah. we're done. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like I feel like I shouldn't have whipped it the second time. Maybe. Oh, you mean go for the spikes? <laughs> I feel like I fucked up. Maybe I don't know, but you could try. Like go over the spikes and see what happens if you only whip it once, because it'll reset you. Uh, colorful death. There you oh, it's go. gone. Oh, it's gone. Okay. And then it's this all is gone. gone. We've collected everything. Yay! So that's the two level demo. It really does tell you what it's about. And it would just be more of the same. Bullet. Okay, ready Whip for the next it. one? Uh, this one is Star Vagrant. Ooh, Star Vagrant. And it has like loading. There's like actual loading because it's yeah. emulating a computer system. You said whip it like 20 times. <laughs> whip it, whip it into shape. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's speed that up. What's going on? There we go. Star Vagrant. New game, uh, load, credits, quit. Well, let's do a new game. Nice little title screen. Silly Purple. Venture. I'm in. This might be a keyboard if I remember. This is like um, mostly text with graphics. It's like a Trade Wars type cool. game where you're moving around. So we've got navigation, trade, console, repair, refuel, pad, uh, ship depot, and back. What do we want to do? Maybe navigation? I want to try Glum Hex. Let's see. So Glum Hex, distance is 50 Distance units. <laughs> and then we got 100% fuel. I yep. think we can make it to Glum Hex. Yep. So they're both the same distance. Area 64 is 50. Oasis Depot is 60. Tycho Station. That's far. 365 distance. And same with Lureville. So might as well go to the Let's Lure. try it out. So J is the faster than light jump. Bam. Let's see how much fuel we have after this jump. Uh, oh, it lasts quite a bit. That's not too bad. Seems your lottery ticket won. The prize has been transferred to your account. That sounds like a scam. <laughs> this sure does, man. 
Navigation, so this is what this one looks like. So we can navigate, which we don't want to do yet because we just did that. Yeah. Trade, or repair. I don't know if we're damaged yet. Or ship depot. I feel like that's the one to do, ship. maybe. Uh, is that, because that means that we do... So we can choose something. Product, Drago Interplanetary. 30,500 universe E credits. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> the name is Raider. Cargo as 46 SCU um, uh, storage units, I guess. The price is 9,000. I don't know how much money we have. Yeah. Uh, speed is 240 meters a second. That's very fast. Length is 35 meters, mass 240 tons. So let's just flip through. Oh, maybe it's joystick left and right. No. Uh oh. Hmm. I love these uh, animation. Of, I mean, I shouldn't say animation. This drawing is very the three dimensional stuff. I love the oh. other one with the rope. Bought the ship. <laughs> hey, fuck yeah. Okay, well, good. Let's trade now. Okay. Oh, uh, we're at Glum Hacks. We're in the buy mode. Oh, we've got twenty-one thousand credits. Delivery location: Raider. Total cargo: empty cargo. So we've got. Nothing. We bought nothing. So. So you can buy some hydrogen? Yeah. This is the buy. I'm feeling like we should get so some hydrogen. Whoa. Sell. This is what we have? Whoa. Graphene, synth comp. Uh, space is Man, the some. beryllium. That's the real good shit right there. Oh, do we press one, two, three? No. Scrap. Tungsten. <laughs> Let's see. Man, Space? black lace is worth a lot. <laughs> yeah, 185. Synth comp is worth a lot. I guess How the graphene's we... the, the big boy. Hydrogen is How do we do this? Pretty normal. C is cancel. Okay. Cell. Shift. Oh, plus and minus, yeah, I remember. Or no. Wow. Let's try all the keys here. And I remember I used to play oh. the game similar to this on my Game Boy, where yeah. you would just have like, um, uh, you'd have screens. I did one that was an adventure one, where you would literally just um, it would show you like a screen, and then you just sit there and stare at your thing for ages, and be like, <laughs> maybe we do this with this. Okay. And they, like the opening, you just have to hang out at the door for like ever. <laughs> Trying to buy it. Return is confirmed. But it's not buying it. And it's just like screens like this where you just be like one screen and then like right. another. And then you do the thing on that screen. And yeah, then... and then it's just like... Ooh, didn't like that. Hmm. Hmm. So this is another Twitch Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a text text game. Obviously, uh, it's a good one because friends, people, that's what you tune in people for. People nominated it. us to. No, it's amazing stuff. It's it's that's the hard differentiation that always needs to be made. A good game is not necessarily a good game for Twitch. Yeah, those are two exactly. different things, man. Because like, yeah, something like this is amazing if you're just on your own, hanging out at home. But it's like a long term playing game. Yeah, oh, and you, you can kind of fuck go. around with it. And... Forty six, return. Oh, we bought it. Man, okay. uh, fuck yeah, we got some hydrogen. Okay. We can't... Everything's going... Sell. Oh, okay. So we only have hydrogen right now. Available item, commodity, price. So it's just telling you what... Uh, if oh, it, It'll buy. These are what this place will buy, I think. Yeah. That's good to know. So. Okay, so we have... Oh, we filled our whole thing with hydrogen. Sure. Okay. Cool. So let's go back. Um... But where do we take it? Well, we need to learn probably who, maybe who buys hydrogen, or even what right. hydrogen is used for. I'm still yet to understand the true objective. It's probably just making money. Just making money, getting better ships, so you can go faster. Oh man, RC7 needs to used to look for people playing um, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead on Twitch. You uh, wish yeah. they'd start doing it. Be the change you want to see. That's fucking right, man. Martin <laughs> Luther King this, motherfucker. So RC70, start up Muhammad a Twitch Gandhi channel this. all about Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead, and yeah. you will gather your... Your people will come to you. That's it, man, and those are going to be your people. So let's... Oh, now we can go to Alistair. My, my, sure. Oh, and we got some fuel. Oh, actually, the, all these are shorter. They're actually different things now. Oh, cool. So they're not very far. Let's just go to the shortest one. Yeah, let's do Actually, it. if you go to the gas mine, why would they want hydrogen? 
Let's try the ambiguous lab, man. I'm Labs all... need hydrogen. Let's do it. There's some logic there. Oh, thank God we got you here, James. I would have <laughs> just fucking gone to the first one on the list. Nice. Man, space is lonely, though. Yeah, that looks pretty desolate. It's an outpost lab. Did you ever see The Martian? That was a cool movie. Oh, I loved it. Such oh, a good they've movie. got different stuff. Fertilizers, black lace. Synth comp, waste, black lace. So we can buy some of these things. And I know at the other place, the black lace was a lot more money. I think the synth right? comp was more money, too. But I don't know how you go down. Oh, no. See. Oh, there we go. First world problems. Now I got it. So It's so true. Games like this do require more preparation. And I would say more experimentation. Like, you would sort know. of learn how to... So, let's buy some black lace. Yeah, and then... we got I, lots of money. Let's do it, and let's also buy some synth comp as well, if we can. Oop. Oh, we don't have any room. That's the problem. So we have to sell this. But they won't buy it. No, no. No. They don't want it. Only switch. Return is confirmed, but they're not buying it. Yeah, because because we need to figure out who needs hydrogen. So these guys don't want hydrogen. God damn it, ambiguous lab. <laughs> Let's go to another place then. We, oh, we can only go back to Glumhex. Oh, and then we're gonna have to go again. Okay. We'll try one more place and see if they want our hydrogen. <sighs> Game reminds me of Zork or Scott Adams' adventure games. Yeah, those adventure games where it was text mostly, but they showed you a picture. Um, just to make it more interesting. Well, let's go to the gas mine then. Maybe they want it. Yeah, let's see. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, we need that type of gas. Yeah, give me give me your hydrogen. <laughs> okay. Trade. <gasps> they at least sell it, so maybe they'll buy it. Let's see. Not for very much. Look at the price. Eleven. So much cheaper than the other place. Oh my god, so I'll we should have bought it here and sold it there. Yeah. It's not selling. I don't understand why it's not selling. Let's see. Oh, it's got groovy. Look at this. Oh, there we go. Okay, forty six. For 500 yeah they don't buy it for much yeah let's do it let's Why do not? it and what should we buy oh black lace is really expensive here um so let's go back to the other place we'll buy ourselves some black lace sell it for uh we should buy something here oh i'm thinking some iodine maybe uh yeah try some iodine how much load it up oh wow i don't want 46 it's weird because it's like it's 46 or nothing i can't seem to just do one yeah it's oh. so let's go okay. back to this black lace place let's see okay. if we can flip some black lace sure <laughs> navigation back to glum hex using up all our oh actually our fuel is fine we got tons i was wondering who's, where scott adams is at um, I was going to read that, but I don't know anything oh, about this. we got some more money, <sighs> randomly. Hey, man. Then navigation, back to the ambiguous lab, right? Yeah, I'm thinking. And they got the lace. I got the lace we need. At the price we like. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, okay. It's like an RNG thing. That's cool. Yeah. So let's trade. Get the black lace. Oh, no, no, don't buy that. Get the black lace. 46 is all we can buy. That's a lot of money, but we got it. We have that money. And we're loaded up with black lace. At yeah. 94, so 94. remember that price. Oh, yeah. Um, let's go back, navigate, back to Glumhack. You used to have nightmares about his game. Which one would you give you a nightmare? Was it a nightmare in terms of, like, you were... Like, what kind of nightmare? Just... Not able to play it well, or are you, like, in the game? Yeah, you're just, you're just close your eyes and picturing. So... So we'll sell. Let's see, look at the price. 185. Ooh, this okay. is the place. This is how we do it. Um, so sell it. For eight thousand. Yeah, what did we buy for? Like five? Yeah. Oh. So yeah. we just made three grand. There we go. We're up. So is, is this what We're we winning. do? We just pop between places, yeah. maybe and then refuel and then just upgrade your ship when you get more, more so you can get there the faster. Thing, and then Yeah, I get it. I I played a lot of these games back in the day, especially on BBSs, yeah. which was like the internet before internet where you dial up and but there'd be other people playing this game at the same time uh -huh. and you could like attack them See, and you take cool. and you take one every day you'd get a turn and then you come back the next day and play your next turn 
Very <coughs> cool. Sorry, it's a sneezing. But not, maybe not. Black to... Lace is already down to 185. Yeah, it's like we a stock. We flooded the market. It's a stock That's market, man. We got to learn about... Yeah, that way you can't do the same thing over and over again. Yep. Smart. Yeah. So next, the last one for. Um, oh yeah, because we're getting close to time. Yeah, well, we got seventy eight hundred games as well. Oh shit. But two of them are just videos. Um, Wasteland by Michael Jaskula. Oh man, this is kind of my fucking milieu now. You are the sole survivor, alone in a post-apocalyptic... What? Oh. <laughs> is to use the escape pod. Your mission is to collect fuel pellets, power the pod, and leave the, the hell. hell. Uh, uh, the only way out. Okay. So, okay. fire to begin. So you're a little dude. I played this for a tiny bit, so go up to the console there. Oh, no. Go back up. Whoa. Oh, oh I see. So flip screens. Go up to the computer console. I found this very much like Fallout. Yeah. Very Fallout. Especially this. <laughs> yes, this. Yeah, was, where's my pit boy at? <laughs> power up escape pod. Exit. Okay. Power up the escape pod. Not, Not enough, enough power. power. Six pellets. That's at the goal of the so game. So at least we know now like how many pellets we need. Yeah. Now we gotta go get those pellets. Okay, so that's a radiation. So we've got health. We've got a tiny bit of radiation already. Whoa. That's unavoidable, though. Oh, yeah, you got. I liked um, how the radiation was in 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 uh, Fallout Four that it just lowered your health. Oh, there's something up there that you missed. That little. Oh, the radiation lowered your health. Yeah, well, which yeah, was cool, but it sure. lowered your max health, so it was like you would kind of like you know mm -hmm. what I mean. You could only get so lightning much. bolt. No, the lightning bolt. Go back, get the lightning bolt. Where is it? Oh, Down. there. Yeah. Oh. Nothing. Press yeah. a button on it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, now you're playing with power. Wow. Okay. Where am I? Okay. Oh, high radiation. Whoa. That was a bad area. Oh no, it's going down now. Good. Okay. Good. Oh, that's a radiation. Oh, this is high radiation. Oh, you went oh. back to it. Don't go back. Deadly. Just checking out. Oh, it kills your health. Yeah, it hurts bad. my health a lot. Okay. So there's a health pack. It looks like. Oh, that guy just right on you. Oh. Oh God. No! Reset. But you need that health pack. Get in there. Fuck, what? man. It's oh. just wailing on me. Oh, he only goes for a certain distance. Get out of there. Okay. Whoa. Oh, what's that? That might be my fucking thing, man. Finally. Uh-oh. My, my mushroom. Oh, he's just a sentry guard. This might be one of the power supplies, though. I hope so. There we go. We got oh, one. Oh, it's a blue card. I was playing this a little bit before. Okay, what's Just in to here? Test it out. I feel like this is for sure somewhere you need to go. Yeah. This is the Nuka Cola factory. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Get some bottle caps in here. Yeah, I love Fallout 3 and Fallout 1 oh, and Fallout 2. 3. And Fallout New Vegas, actually. Was... Yeah, New Vegas oh. is great. Yeah, this is straight out of Fallout. <laughs> Menu, schedule, tickets. What's the schedule like? Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Cleveland, Ohio. Well, this is set on Earth. Morgantown, West Virginia, and... West Virginia! Let's get some tickets. <laughs> oh, it's out of order. Can't oh, find no! Tickets. <laughs> yeah, New Vegas is good. New Vegas is, is almost... So I'm guessing the train isn't going to be running. Yeah, I lost my, like, electricity, too. Oh, uh, it's only last for a little bit. <clears throat> cool little adventure game. Oh, health pack. Well, you uh, know, don't need it yet, uh, but you will in a second. Uh, it's a, uh, there you go. Uh, oh, God. What are you going to do? So you don't have any bullets, do you? Can you press a button? Do anything? No, not really. Oh, there's some more speed up. Oh, a little bit of radiation in here. Not much. Oh, another health pack. Where am I? Oh, oh I can't really. You're stuck on a wall. You'll have to go over. There you go. Oh. High radiation. You I'm are dying. Wailed on. Damn, I'm Get dead. Out of there. Down. Oh, I just made it. And you're gonna die from radiation poisoning. Oh shit. Do you have your blue oh it's like right from the beginning. Don't have the blue don't, card. Don't have anything. Don't oh, have that's anything. a cool game though. I'm into this. Yeah. It's a cool style. So you already went up and to the right. Oh, no, you haven't been there. 
Oh man, that's a risky venture. You don't need that yet. Especially get to the computer. Oh, oh. shit, I thought I was going to be safe. Nope. There is no safety in the wasteland. No, no safety here. Look at that spine the and skull there. The first Fallout and the second Fallout are fucking incredible games. Some oh, of the I best of all those. time, man. I love them. Oh, need that health pack. Um, 3.6... Wrote Jen, not great, not terrible. What? <laughs> Use those ta Those towns are in my neck of the woods. Oh, okay. Well, that looks closed up. Door's not open. Let's find out. This is Megaton. Can you press the button? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's nope. see if we can find Tinpenny Towers, man. <laughs> yeah. Get it, Get in with the elites. That's right. Got to got to deal with those ghouls first, though. <laughs> yeah, they won't let you in. They're pretty they're pretty snobby. Those people. They're they they're are. all about no ghouls. That's right. The, we got to deal with the ghoul infestation. <laughs> Turns out they're just peaceful. <laughs> Who to thunk? And, and what the, a twist! That's right. The ghouls <laughs> are actually civilized, and the fucking capitalists, Ooh. man, those are the people you got to look out for. Those motherfuckers. Unexpected writing twist. There. That's right. Oh, some mushrooms, some huge mushrooms. Yeah, there's some Lovecraftian elements in that stuff too. You can go to the Dunwich building. Oh, That's yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Here I am just rattling off Fallout <laughs> stuff. I played so much of that game. Oh, get out of there. Ah! Radiation poisoning. Rivet City. <laughs> just <laughs> listed it all. Oh, there's a speed up. It's yeah. kind of neat how the radiation falls off slowly. Oh. oh, been here before. Speed up's nice. Get you going. Oh, there's the blue card. That's what we need. Like when I was playing, I only played it for a little bit. I I found the place ah. I needed the blue card for. Oh no, no, it wasn't there. Or maybe it was. That was pretty big. But then I found the blue card and I couldn't find where to go after. Yeah, the so first one is, is one of the best. Probably probably my top ten games, man. Yeah. Oh, you went that way last time. Oh, yeah. Go to the right. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah, you made it. It's Cafe. Cafe! Okay. Still some drinks on the table. Yeah. Oh, no, empty. Give me that irradiated <laughs> water. This ain't no purified water. Oh, no. You just need some Rad-X, and then we're good. <laughs> a little bit of poisonous water and some Rad-X, and you're good to go. That's right. Keep you going for another little while. Oh, it's cool. The objective area. of the first game is ju is, is you are, you're in a vault, and basically uh, the vault's water purification system has failed. So the goal of the game is just get your get a oh. water chip. Oh, that's cool. And so it's very cool because you're just like, you have to like, you know, you start out as a... Uh, as almost nobody, and then yeah. and then you have to find your way. And it's really cool. In the first one, you have to essentially steal things. Oh. It's like there's no way you'll survive. If Can't you be moral about it. No. Oh, it's pretty that? brutal. What's that thing? Dark room, I think. Oh, maybe. It's like a maze almost. Oh God, dark mazes. Oh, geez. my nightmare come true. <laughs> mazes are bad. Dark mazes are worse. Dark, yeah, you just gotta. But like you know it. the good stuff's in there. <laughs> That's where all the shit is. No, oh. no. That's how you do it. There you go. Okay. Oh, computer terminal. There was one to the right. Yeah, we'll see. I bet you this will turn off some of this Hopefully electricity, this will, the maybe. Hopefully blue card helps in this one. Borco. Borco. 2078 to 2082. Server online. Security Se report unlocked. See, yeah, that's man. what you got to do. We're having security issues with these savage robots. If you spot any of them... Do not attempt to approach. Contact the security office. Like who? Love the milieu of these kind of awesome. things. Interior doors unlocked. Is it? Is that? Is that success? I think so, because there were some flashing doors <sighs> that you couldn't go through before. Yeah, let's see, I think this might be good now. Oh, Yay. now it's open. Okay, that's good nice. news. Oh, some health. You need that. Yeah, we definitely some do. Broken down. Nice. I think you can make it through that broken wall. I don't think so either. Okay, I think we're back around where we were. Let's move on to the next yeah, thing. Yeah, oh, I gotta run off real soon. Oh no. It's 104. Okay. Then we will play the Atari game then. 
Sounds good. Um, we'll get to the 7800 list, and we'll play the Baby Pac-Man, which is in alphabetical order anyway. Oh, perfect. And just, yeah, and super quick, is because I gotta... Yeah. I gotta do a gear loadout, and if I'm late, then... Nobody's happy. No. <laughs> so, we've got an actual Atari 7800 to play on, which is pretty exciting. Yay! Okay, cool. And this is Baby Pac-Man by Bob DeCrescenzo. Decrecenzo. Decrecenzo. Got a double button on here. Oh, my name's right today. That's awesome. Hooray! So hopefully this all hooked up right and is still working. All connects. Because I had it... Um... Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um... I was actually playing this. Let's try that again. This is kind of a, a mono gray style, you know? It's. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. It is making it to there. It is making it to there. So the VCR is getting there, so the thing in the way is the 7800 is. Yeah, I was just going to say, say, let's try that and see. It is not getting the signal to the. Let's just reset our system. Start again. Channel 2? I didn't even change anything. Check our cabling. Oh. Oh, we almost had something. There we go. Uh, I saw something. I did too. Yeah. Analog. <laughs> See, you guys love this stuff. Oh, that looks somewhat promising. We're getting close. Yeah. Let's check all the rest of the connectors. The quaint days of electricity. Mmm. <laughs> Drum roll. Oh, tapping. Twenty seven eight hundred is three times better than the twenty six hundred. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, math technically. I mean, yeah. actually, not really. Oh. Dude. Oh, okay. It is something to do with the 7800. It is. Oh. That's fine. Hit button to start. It's kind of there. We almost had it. The dream was alive. So I. It's definitely to do with this. Why is that cutting out? Oh, because the signal's garbage. So that's why it's cutting out. So if we get a good signal, then it won't cut out. Because it is being very sensitive about it. Nice static effect. Hell yeah, man. We got the <laughs> we got that retro. going on. That's all we need. Very retro static effect. I might need to roll though. I told them I'd be there at like 10, 10, 10, 15, and it's like, oh, okay. and it's like 108. Oh, okay. Well, you take off then. Yeah, man. And you, you gonna keep rolling? Yep. Oh, yeah. I have to show off these last couple oh, games. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'll just make sure I'll just let myself out. And sorry I can't stay longer, friends. Oh, no. Why is it so staticky? It's probably because all the... the rest of the lights are on and it's interfering. I bet that's the case, man. Okay. I'll see, I'll see you real soon. Have fun okay. with the rest of the Yep, side. you bet. Bye bye. Yeah, this is not nice looking. Can't see it, kind of. It's not a good uh, not a good look. Um what I can do is plug it into another outlet and that will clear that up. So let's do that.
with that noise. Messes up the whole feed too, not just the game. <laughs> okay, so what I'll do is plug the game system and also the VCR into another plug that is not on the same circuit. And that will clear up some of the static. So you just have to hold with me and I'll put on some music while you wait. How about that? Please hold. I'll keep the video going. marginally better uh, not much better well, what's the comments I would wiggle the cable going to the TV until the signal improves that should identify if or where the break is I think it's just electrical interference um, let me try another outlet this is yet another outlet.
Yeah, the 37800 games, Pac-Man plus Atari Age, Pac Baby Pac-Man, Ricky and Vicky, and Dracker Quest 2. What I'm going to do is put on a video of the other two games, because I don't have a cartridge version of Ricky and Vicky. This is the cartridge version of Baby Pac-Man that I have here. Um, so I'm going to put on some uh, video. Yeah, Ricky and Vicky has no ROM. And I don't have an emulator installed for a 7800. So what we'll do is take a look at the video right now while I do some things to try and get this looking better. Is the daisy chained behind the 2600? See, I think it's just... So this is the output. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off some lights. And I'm going to see what's going on here. Let's get the signal back up again. So you guys can watch it with me. Let's turn off some lights. That doesn't get much better. <laughs> How about that, huh? Could it possibly be the lights interfering? I think I can turn this one back on and it was fine. Nope. How about we play it in the dark? <laughs> Is that, does that sound good? Let's try one more light. Oh my God, it's getting even better. It's almost clear. <laughs> you don't mind if I play it in the dark? How, cl how clean do you want the signal? <laughs> Ugh. Oh my goodness. We only need to see the game. We know how you look like. Yep. Okay, sounds good. Let's play the game in this orange darkness. <clears throat> I think you figured out the light when you tried the 2600 Junior. Yeah, that's, that's what kind of happened. I forgot about that. Um... Well, let's do it now. Get the music, get the sound going on here. Players, one. Lives, three. Remember Energizers, yes. Play type, full game, Monster AI, arcade. Let's do it. Make sure I have some volume. Okay. You guys hear that? I'm just going to turn it up a little bit more here. Okay, let's restart the game so we can start from the beginning. You can see the whole thing. Spooky Dark James stream, yeah. It's actually very bright for me. It's just that the other lights are super bright. Okay, so this uh, this is Baby Pac-Man by Bob DeCricenzo. Please tell me how to pronounce it. I mess it up every time. All co AKA Pac-Man Plus in the Atari 2600 forums. Okay, there we go. This is a tough game, so I have to apologize for my terrible playing. Those ghosts are relentless. So let's go into the pinball area. I've been called worse. <laughs> so in the arcade, this is a two-stage game. Half of it is uh, arcade, and the other half is like physical pinball. Um, so this is the pinball area, which is like below, which had actual flippers, actual ball, and this is the, um, you know, the port of the, of that, oops, let's not rock the, rock it too hard. And the left and right button of the 7800 controller is acting as the flippers. And then you can play here as much as you want until you lose the ball, and then you go back to the Pac-Man maze. And it's such an amazing thing that uh, to port such a unique game. Oh, now, now it's death time for me. Oh, these ghosts. So brutal. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 
No. <laughs> the physics look really smooth. Yeah, really good physics on the ball uh, in the... Um, in the pinball mode. These ghosts just go after you. Where's my power pellet? Oh my god. It's gone. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> so brutal. The arcade uh, by me has an actual baby, baby Pac-Man arcade. Yeah, I did play this in uh, the actual arcade machine in Portland at um, the arcade there. Oh, they're faster than me. I have to play this a couple times. Kurt's work on the pinball mode are amazing. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see if I can actually finish a screen. Oh, man. You gotta really stay away from the ghosts. Oh, my God. Where's my power pellet? I think I have to go in the pinball mode and earn it? I do not know the rules of this. Next time you need phonetic pronunciations of all the developers before the nominations next year. Oh god, there we go. Yeah, I'm in trouble this year. There's a lot of Polish names. I'm just gonna have to wing it and do my best and hope that I do not mess up their names. Power pellet. Oh, I can't go down anymore. Why do I not have a power pellet? Okay, let's keep playing. Gotta do this justice. Pac-Man plus Atari Age says I actually gave up on this game a few times because of the pinball. Oh my god. <laughs> the pinball part. Kurt Woolwich did the pinball physics and he did an amazing job. Oh yeah. Very realistic. God, these ghosts! You kind of have to get on one side of the screen and then move to the other side of the screen because they just they just go after you and follow you. Oh my god, I'm going to have to go into the pinball. Goodbye. Okay. You pull down to start the pinball. It's getting good, realistic pinball action, it's hard to simulate all the different stuff that's going on. So this is really, really good. I remember playing uh, Midnight Magic. Oh, damn it, now back to the pain. Oh, I'm in danger why I'm in this corner. Okay, good. Oh, oh, good. Ah! Ah! No! Oh! Oh, I could have kept going. He turned around. Italian names aren't too bad. Oh! Uh, Polish. It's just a lot of S's and Z's. Maybe I should take a look at some... Uh... Oh, God. Shouldn't have turned around. The ghosts seem to give up on you a little bit, too. Oh, my God. This game is brutal. Uh, I need more lives. Time to cheat. Where are the energizers? Why are they not here? Bob, why don't I have any power pellets? It's a cherry. Too hard to get. Oh my god, these ghosts. No! No, 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 no. I go get the cherry? Oh, of course it disappeared right before I was going to get it. Oh my god. Yeah, this game is brutal! Brutal hard, but the arcade is brutal hard. Like, it's it's directly brutal for brutal. It emulates the, the arcade. Like, I played the arcade and I could not... Like, I'm doing better here than in the arcade. And arcade, I was just dying. You have to earn them with points or knockdown. You have to earn them with in the pinball part. Oh, that makes sense. Well, let's get let's earn it. Okay. Let's do better in the pinballs then. Well, that's not gonna get it. 
That went away quick. Yeah, it makes sense because the pinball's like an escape to get away from this. So if you want to do well in this part, you got to do better in the pinball part. Look at that ghost! They'd split up! They're so smart. You can earn it by uh, two by hitting the bell at the top of the board. Or in the drop down. Oh, I get another chance in here. The bell at the top of the board. The ball at the top of the board or the drop downs. Uh, the drop downs. I'm guessing the things on the side I have to spell out. Okay, let's give it another try. Hit the ball. Oh. No. Hit that ball up there. Oh, almost. No, no, no. Oh my god. Now it's blocked off, so I don't get another try. I don't know if that ever gets uncovered. Ooh. Oh, the ghosts are so tricky. Okay, let's get over to the other... Oh my god, they're heading me off. They, they split up. They're so smart. No. Only a bit more to go. Look at them. Oh, they all change directions. Okay, let's go through here. Oh good, they're all coming through here. I have a chance. Okay, I'll do that, that. Oh my god, first board done! Woo! The yellow boxes at the top are the drop downs. Okay. It's open again, but I don't want to take that escape route well, until I have to. Oh, looks like I have to. The yellow, okay. The yellow boxes at the top, so I have to clear all the yellow boxes or hit the ball. Okay, well, let's give it another trip, another go. Come on! No! One hit! Ah! Oh, I get another go. Oh, it does have mercy. I just hit both at once because, um. Oh my god. Now it's over. Oh, if I do that, it's gonna be over. Come on. No, 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 no. No! The blue one is for bonus life. Oh, I still have one more life because I gave myself a ton of life. A ton of lives this time, which is a nice option. Uh, Bob, were those options, like the extra lives, um, option dip switch options, um, in the arcade? Like the three to five? <gasps> oh my god, it does have a very wide opening in the bottom. Oh my god, these ghosts. The program's so smart. Ah! Uh at the same time they do give up they're like nah i'll get them later so if you if they fall in behind you for a while oh. fruit advances the fruit yes yes tunnel advances how fast the player moves through the tunnel remembering energizers oh. let's just keep going now that Aaron has gone, we're not in a super rush anymore, so I can take my time a little bit with this game. It's the other ones I don't have cartridges for, so I can't really play them. Oh my god. Change the monster AI. Okay. Oh. Monster AI. Classic. Or a classic. Okay. Oh, classic as in... Pac-Man classic AI? Maybe that'll be a little bit easier, that's for sure. Oh. Oh. Remembering energizers. Don't know what that means. Play type. Full game. Video only. Oh, okay. So you don't have to play the um, pinball part. Classic makes them act more like the original. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that... Yeah, they won't be as brutal. Brutal and baby Pac-Man. Let's be more manageable, hopefully. Well, not right there. <laughs> and they don't reverse. Ah, yes, that's right. They do reverse in this game. Well, the cherry went away. Oh, God. Ugh. It looks pretty clean on the output. A little bit, little bit of sparkles. There's a lot of equipment uh, running. It's amazing the lights are interfering from, like, a totally different plug in another room. Oh, 
Oh my god, the opening's so wide. Oh, I played so poorly it gave me another life. <laughs> another ball. Oh, come on. Hit something. Get up there. Oh. oh, I turned left. If you only hit the left flipper before you lose the ball, it gives you a chance. Oh, okay. Or left bumper. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, ghost. There we go. No, 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 stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was lucky. They're about the same speed as me. And because they're pl playing classic, they won't turn around and go away. So, you know, you weigh it out, you get advantages and you get disadvantages. Oh god. Boo! Last life. Okay, I'm gonna play it once more. And then we'll move on to looking at the other games for this that are uh, nominated for this Atari 7800. Can anybody answer why there aren't very many, um, there, might, there isn't very much homebrew for the 7800? Um, I theorized that it's because it has, uh, it doesn't have a readily available multi-cart that people can just download ROMs and play the games, but that's not really much of an excuse if there's an emulator, right? Um, Because there's a multi-card for all the other systems. Oh, that was, that was, that was terrible. Um, is it harder to program for the 7800? Is it just not as popular? So people don't want to program as much for it? Um, so I, I don't know much about the scene. 7800 scene. I was always wondering that because we only have three nominations, only three completed games in um, 2019. Oh my god. As opposed to, you know, hundreds, or at least a hundred eligible finished games for the 8-bit, oh god, 8-bit and um, also the 2600. Uh, do I have to go through a tunnel to get rid of these guys or just have, to... oh my god. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, I'm gonna go through here. Oh, they slow down quite a bit in this one. It wasn't as popular in the very beginning when the encryption was first found out. Oh. So there's, there was quite a delay because of encryption. When was that found out? Uh, when was that decrypted so that people could play the... make games for it? So that would set back the scene, like, quite a, quite a lot. Baby Pac-Man, indeed, Jorgazoo. About 15 years ago. Yeah. So, 2600 homebrew started in the late 90s. So, if you think about that... But, I mean, tools are a little bit more available now, and, of course, the internet helps a lot. Um... But it's like a super capable system, so maybe as time goes on, it'll get even better. There was a lot of work in progress uh, in 2019. A lot of games. Ooh. Doing a lot better now. Hooray! Oh, oh my god, it just, just, oh my god, oh, oh no! Not enough for an energizer! Nope. Looks like it's slowing down. Is that because I'm on a second screen? There we go. Is 7800 programmed similar to 2600 programming? I... From what I read it is, it uses the same processor. Isn't that right? It uses the same sound chip. Um, so there's a lot of crossover, but I will let experts answer that. Now we're gonna turn the lights back on so you can see me, not that you care, but um, get some 
lights going again. And we'll see how fuzzy this gets as I turn on the lights. Oh my god, it's gonna get so bad it cuts out. That's really interesting. At least I know that. There's a lot of um, interference. So that I can plan for that for future um, broadcasts. There we go. Maybe after the XM module is released, we'll get more brews taking advantage of additional features. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the other two 7,800 nominated games. Atari wants to uh, read them out, apparently. He's sitting on the paper. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the next one in alphabetical order, Dracker's, Dracker Quest 2 by Clark Otto Franco Dragon. Uh, let me switch back to everything. Hello, Atari. Now, Atari's my co-host here now. Oh, you can't, you can barely see him. Oh, but he is there. Um, so we're going to play the videos for the other two games. Because one is available, but I don't have an emulator installed. And the other one is only on cartridge. No demo, no binary released at all. So the, take a look first at Dracker Quest 2. Open that link. Bring that over so you guys can see it as well. Make that full screen. There we go. The controllers have a short lifespan, do they? I mean, they're not like 5200 controllers. Much better than that. Um, so this is Dracker's Dracker Quest. Ooh, high pitch noise. There we go. Tracker Quest 2 by Clark Otto, Franco Dragon. This looks a lot like BitQuest 2 for the Atari 2600. Yeah, stairs? Were they both based on something? Very, very similar. Our friends have turned into crystals. If you get the four crystals, I will tell you the password. Oh, I have to read that fast. Because the character kind of looks the same and the screens kind of look the same. Yes, walk on... The oh my god. This is somebody who's played it a lot. Be careful you pass out, you lose points. Oh, didn't have to read that. World 2... Oh, no. When will Erlen transform into a cat? When did Erlen? It was about um, 20 minutes ago. Hey, Erlen? Yeah? It's very fluffy. Very, very fluffy. Is that kind of a yo-yo? No, no, it's a projectile. thought it was a yo-yo. It came back to him. Yes, very much like BitQuest 2. Very, very cool. So an adventure game with dungeons and I don't know if there's castles. I've only seen the dungeons so far. Oh, what's that? Chalice. Oh, and we've got another cat. Come here. Pixel. Uh, system specs. Thrust. Thank you. 6502. Uh, note this isn't Atari's custom 6502. So it's got the full standard 6502 in the Atari 7800. Speed is 1.79 megahertz, drops down to 1.19 megahertz when the TIA or Riot chips are accessed, which is a lot. I guess when you're not putting stuff on the screen or reading inputs, then you get the full speed, so you can do that when you're not displaying things. Um, RAM, 4K, ROM, 4K BIOS ROM, 32 cartridge ROM without bank switching, sound, TIA, custom sound chip, same as the 2600. Maria Custom Graphics Controller, 32, 320 by 200 resolution with 256 colors. So it does have a frame buffer, I'm guessing. So you write to the frame and then it displays the frame. Very unlike the Atari 2600. Is that uh, how it goes? Man, Atari sacked out over there. Oh yeah, he's, he's exhausted from being a cat. You here to help him? Rejuvenate? So that is Dracker Quest 2. Um, you know, RPG type game, um, go into dungeons, collect things, keep your health up. Looks like there's points in health. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's not going in there. Back in the dungeon again? Nope, avoiding that dungeon. Not going in there. It's going to go in that dungeon? Yep. Oh, got hit immediately. Is that your bed you sleep in? 99. Okay. So that is Dracker Quest 2. Looks pretty good, like a fun adventure game. And we're going to take a look at Ricky and Vicky by Penguinet. 
aka Tal Chio. Tal Chio. Paste and go. There we go. Oh, that's not at the beginning. Let's just go back just a little bit here. Uh, Rick and Vicky by Penguinet, aka Tail Chow. Tail Chow. He is alive. Oh, giving each other cleaning baths, which is actually a dominant thing. Press button to start. And this is kind of a uh, platform game. Let's skip ahead a bit. There we go. High scores. Rick and Vicky, Rick alone, Vicky alone. Two player co-op game or single player game. And we're gonna get Vicky alone. Okay. It was a quiet evening. Smash. Until it wasn't. Mom, Dad, help! Ah, very nice graphics. Very colorful. And I believe this game was uh, also put out on Steam. I'm the Misery Dragon, Demon Lord of Inconvenience. So this would be the original, and then they ported it to Steam, because I, I looked at the Steam one, and it looks looks the same, as far as I can tell. Ground Trooper, Brick and Vicky doesn't even look like a 7800 game. Sound is amazing, and the two-player option adds more variation to the game. Yep. Well, it looks like an, S an NES game, or better than an NES game. Yeah, it's very, very... Uh, very great graphics on this. So let's skip past the story. Um, yeah, Rick and Vicky is available on Steam. That is right. And the graphics, I think, look exactly the same as the 7800 version. This is, yeah, it's the 7800 version. Just checking because it's like pretty, uh, pretty colorful. Very, very colorful graphics. And that me mechanic's pretty cool where you fall through the screen and you come back up on top. Very much like Bubble Bobble uh, mechanic. Uh, a little bit of puzzles. Collect all the keys. There you go. So the goal is to get all the keys in each of the levels. Welcome down to R2. Um, and I definitely do want to buy this game. It's just... Um, when you calculate all the shipping and the exchange for US to Canada, it comes out to like $85, um, which is not insignificant amount of money uh, when you have when you buy a lot of other games, a lot of our other Atari 2600 games. So hopefully it, they keep making it so that I can eventually buy it when I have enough money to put into this because it does look like a game that I would play. Um, puzzle platformer, love them. They're, they're definitely one of my favorite genres. And shooters. So great, great animation, great puzzle action, great drawings, very colorful. Is this typical of a 7800? I've never had one, so I wouldn't know. I would say this was atypical in terms of this is pretty pretty high quality stuff, but I'll let other people answer because I have not played or seen many 7800 games, but I'd say this is in top tier kind of thing. Yeah, great dis like the screen coming on display, and this is only 320 by 200. It's uh, incredible, huh? So it's pretty stiff competition, even with three games only for this Atari 7800. Between uh, Baby Pac-Man and Dracker Quest 2 and Ricky Vicky, it's um, it's a good year. So it's not uh, we're spoiled for choice, that's for sure. Yeah, and also when you loop around, you also have to think, oh, okay, well I loop around, now I have to fall somehow. Oh, and going up. Ah, see, it's so clever that you have to think about the screen as a, a wraparound continuous. And I think it's just a vertical wraparound. I don't think I've seen any horizontal wraparounds. This uses a sound generator, not the built-in TIA sound. Or added cart pokey sound. Oh, maybe that's why the cart's so expensive. Is it an extra um, 
chip they put on in the cartridge? Or is it um, generated um, kind of, you know, through just programming? Graphics are good in this game and the music is good. Yep. Yeah. And if you like the genre, puzzle platformers, then you'll like the uh, type of game it is too. And this is not typical, Ground Trooper says. Penguin Net did some magical things with Ricky and Vicky. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a good NES game. And they were in the same era, the NES and the uh, 7800, if I believe. Oh, oh. Oh, and they reset the block. So you have to put them in place and you have to... And they only stick to walls. It's going to have to do it. Oh, no. You have to put it one step lower, maybe. Maybe fall and smack it. No, it's the same spot. You're not going to get it. Oh, okay. Just didn't go to the edge. Thanks for the 411 D translate. Okay, that's good. So we've got a good handle on that. Oh, this goes for an hour and a half. Too many spoilers. Too many spoilers. So there we go. We have now finally made it through all of the games that are nominated for this year's Atari Homebrew Awards. And the cutoff for voting is tomorrow at noon. The 28th, we gave uh, extra three days for voting because of the delay of starting it. Um, and then, of course, February 1st, we all return. All four hosts will be on the show on February 1st. That's Saturday at uh, noon Pacific time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern time. So you want to make sure you're there for that. And uh, yes, get out there and vote. Make sure you get your votes in. And now that I've went through all the 8-bit games and have seen all of those. Now I can make a vote for those because I hadn't played them all before. Now I, have an edu I can make an educated vote. And, uh, and I can also vote for the 7800 games as well. So now that uh, we've played all of them or shown all of them on the show, you too can either watch all the streams and um, make your vote based on what we played, which is maybe not the best way because maybe we didn't play it well or we didn't know exactly all the instructions or all the keys or how to do things. Um, or make sure you play them yourself. All the binaries are available for downloads that we have. And I think most of them are, are available. Um, ah, th top vote count, 117 is slightly shorter than last year, 119. So we do have one more day left. To get that vote count up, make sure everybody votes. And make sure you vote in all the categories possible that you can. Make sure it's an educated vote that you've informed yourself of what the games are about and which one you think that you like the best. Maybe you play it a lot. Whatever criteria you use to say, yeah, this is the game that I think is uh, worthy of winning the award. And on the first, we, we do announce third place, second place, and the winner. We like to give credit as much as possible. And of course, every single game that's been nominated this year is outstanding. And um, kudos to all the amazing developers that put in so much effort and time to give us and all you in the audience so much enjoyment. Um, because really, it, it's, it's the challenge of making these games and it's the enjoyment that we get out of it those are the big things and the awards are whatever it's just a fun thing to do um, to give a little bit more recognition to these great uh, developers um, I suppose that from what I understand it wasn't a sound chip but made with sound from a software routing on an additional chip so not a sound chip but a chip that does the processing for the sound but not dedicated solely to the sound uh, thrust already voted in nine categories awesome thrust Hopefully today's show will help you with those extra categories um, if you wanted to vote for those. I still have to vote for the 7800 and the 8-bit, but now that I've played them today and taken a look at all the games, I think I can make a good uh, vote. And remember, it, it closes at noon uh, tomorrow on the 28th, and then on Saturday, noon, be here for the awards. We're going to be all dressed up 
in front of a green screen like last time. We're going to have more technology, so it'll go a lot smoother. So I'll be counting up the votes, and we'll be giving out the awards on that. And I'll be making all the videos that I have to do and printing up the rest of the uh, awards uh, certificates. And, of course, giving out the 2019 trophies. Sending those off to the winners. Very, very exciting. Can't wait for it. And then I take a little break, and then we're back. And actually, we have an exciting debut, world debut, of a new game that is coming out. World exclusive. So it's always good to come back with a bang. It's Save Gaia the Psy Mage. And uh, this is by uh, Generation 2 Games. And they have not both posted a binary. They posted a bunch of videos about the game. Um, but we will have the first look. We'll be able to play it for the first time on the game and uh, on the show. And they're working their hardest to put in as much into the game they're passing over to us because it's still a work in progress so that we can show off as much as possible when we show it off to you on the 7th, if I'm correct, when we're coming back. Let me just check one second. The 7th, which I believe is a Friday, and I can't remember whose Friday it is. If I look at the time, it says 12 a.m. That'll be Darcy. He hasn't been here in a while. So we'll be back with Darcy on the 7th, but before that, we're going to be back on the 1st for the Atari Homebrew Awards. Your director needs better cue cards. <laughs> My director? <laughs> uh, was that one in the work in progress list? Uh, no, because... Or was it? Was it? I don't think it was. Hi. Work in progress, work in progress, work in progress. Nope. It was not in the work in progress. Best work in progress. Um... Oh, it's not in the nominations, but it doesn't have a binary to download. So I'm not sure. Did it? Was it in the full list? Let me take a look really quick. If it surfaced in 2020, it shouldn't be in. It shouldn't be in the 2019 list. Yes, and there is certain criteria to make. Oh, let's not bite each other. Let's be nice. Let's go down there and separate you bad cats from each other. Uh, let's look at the full list for Atari 2600. Welcome back, Arena. Just for the last second. Save. No, it was not in the list. Um, uh, oh, that's in the released. Sorry. Oh, it is. It was in the work in progress full list. But a lot of people at Save Gaia. Oh, what's the full name? It's a long name. Save Gaia the Psy Mage. Um, but. You know, people. Some people don't like voting for games that they can't play, that just have a video, and it's and it's just started the game, so there wasn't much um, to look at. It's, it was a bit to look at, but a lot of people um, only like voting for games they can play, which makes sense. You know that, so you can actually have hands on. So it didn't get nominated, but uh, if they do more work in progress, because it's not on the nomination list, they're still eligible for 2020. So we'll see if they finish the game or if it's still a work in progress. It's a very, very ambitious, huge JRPG game. Um, and that will be playing on February 7th on the show. World debut, work in progress game. Uh, yes, uh, Thrust says I skipped those except for graphics and sound. Yeah, because you don't need gameplay for graphics and sound. You can take a look at that. Uh, but Michael Brown didn't give me the demo in time before 2019. Yes, very exciting. So that is the end of our show and the end of all the games. We played all the 2600, all the 8-bit, all the 7800 games. And now you're up to speed for voting. And so put your votes in before tomorrow at noon. And we'll be back, or I'll be back, and the cats will be back. They don't usually get to be seen, but we'll hold them up to the camera on the award show. So we'll be back um, next time you see us. We'll be in suits, be in front of a green screen. And thanks so much for watching. And thanks to the D Train, Arena Foot, Thrust 26, uh, Dan AVC, Ground Trooper, Impaler 26, Jared Gray West. 
who else? Pac-Man plus Atari Age. Thank you very much for making Pac-Man and being here to answering questions. Jorga Zoo. Uh, who else is in this list? Captain Classic, Kev73. Anybody else I missed? Uh, made it back to the top. Oh, one more. RV Reverite? Reverite? RV Airite? Something like that. Um, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all on February 1st for the award show. 12 p.m. noon, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and make sure you put it on your calendars and be there for the exciting award show. Thanks for tuning in. It was a lot of fun playing the 8-bit games and the 7800 games because we've never played them on the show before. So, bye everyone. See you next time at the awards.